Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're not playing 7800. No, we're what is that doing there? A lot of Jaguar. Yay! There we go. Hey, the D train. Thank you it's... for joining and our eight other viewers. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sh for showing up on this Friday night instead of being at your, you know, Christmas party, office Christmas party or yeah. studying or hanging out with family. Thank you for yes. coming and joining and watching. Yes. yes. Um, it's after dark where we uh, do different things. We play lots of extended versions of games or today. In this case. We are playing... The rest of the Jaguar Yay. catalog. Yay! I'm so excited. I don't know these games at all. So it's high. just fun to just throw yourself into a whole bunch of games you've never, never yeah. played before. So, so we're going to be playing the last 24 games released for the Jaguar. Okay. In the classic era. Nice. Uh, original era of Jaguar. Okay. Uh, which actually we're going to extend it out to just beyond the life of the Jaguar, which um, is... 96 is when it was pulled from shelves. Okay, okay. Tossed into the dumpsters. <laughs> um, but games came out for a couple years after that. Games were still being made. People still had them and still in played stores. them. In stores. Yeah. Um, so we're going to extend it to 1998. Which okay. Is when okay. the last of the retail games were okay. completed for the Jaguar. Um, yeah, 24 games ranging from December 1995 mm. to May 1998. Okay. Um, a lot of them are, not a lot, but uh, a few of them are CD games, which we've had hit and miss with those. So we'll see if, how many of those work. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, d is taking a break from studying. Hey! The practice well, thank you test for us. went okay. Well, that's good. Job. Good. good for your confidence. Hey, Pseudographics. Hey, Pseudographics. Good, good evening, Dan ABC. Thank you for joining yes. us in the chat, too. And I'd like to thank our Twitch subscribers yeah, who help support care. the show. Al Nefar, Andre Atari, Armscar, Coder Atari, Downard XL, Rules Atari, 1974 Atari, Beef Supreme, Beer Pro Cup, Buffalo Pinball, Charles Stonywell. Charles Stunning Mount, Charles Wheel and Chitla, Cubanismo, Sierra Naribo, Dan, if you see Drexel, Drifting Snow, Dr. Moo, Kaz, Gamma Dev, Glenn, Main, Great Offender, Grudge, Your Burger, Rapper, Johnny, WC, Camino Kenzo, Carl G. Krakow, 2600, Develt, Furry, Lambda Express, Mark, Anis, Mark, Spacing, Metal Atari, McMeese, Mike, Soul, McCattel, Mother Through, Mr. Zarn, Moon, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan, Strum, Neo, Mini, Nostalgia, Quag, Ram, and CR, 70, Randy, Ghost, Brentless, Fiji, Work, Darvin, Tooley, Ricardo, Pim, Rod Kassler, Smitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, S. Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Track MD, Vex, Rex, Vintage Gaming Members, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken, that's your name's not on there. Uh oh, I do have to. I she do have to uh, resubscribe. No, just the cats support the show. It's never continuous. Not the co host It always expires before I join back in. And that's so. why I remind people. Well, this is how you remind yes. me. Yes, and if you'd like yeah. to subscribe, like she should, mm. uh, <laughs> just uh, hit subscribe, and it's free with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. um, so, sixty-three games were released in total mm -hmm. for the Jaguar. Over uh, 19, uh, ooh, now I've forgotten, um, 1993 and 1998, there are one short of 64 bit, uh, 64 games. Okay. Um, 13 of those are on CD. The majority of them we'll be playing today, the CD games. Okay. We're not sure if like they're going to run. Hit and miss. Yeah. So we're going to dedicate eight minutes each. Eight to minutes. each game. Okay. Unless they don't run. That's a lot and of then games. we'll just That's skip to the next one. I'm, I'm excited. Um, yes. Um, so let's let's jump into Are it. Are we I guess. jumping in, yeah. or is anyone in the mood <laughs> to do some cat gambling? Well, we did two cat. This is the second show today. <laughs> oh, they've gotten their treats already. Oh, yeah. they might not be deserving. You can see Atari's like, eh. Yeah. Um, so he's <laughs> he's eaten twenty. That's true. I forgot you did a show. I earlier can't remember today. how many he's eaten, but above fifteen, I believe. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah. well, we can skip that. Yeah, um, well, they, they can trigger it at any time. Anytime you want. But there's no we'll, pressure. We'll, they... we'll throw a pause on, or if, or if they want to give them the... Um... Pause. Or two pause. Oh, God. Yeah, terrible. Um, uh, or if you it's feel like giving them... Yay! Oh, Yama yeah, Dev, thank you! Are you ready for treats? Oh, you are oh, ready for treats. Oh, they're like, we'll take treats. We'll, well go let's... for round three. Yeah, round We're three. We're happy with round three. We weren't expecting it, but we'll take it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a happy happy day. <laughs> Thank you, happy Gamma day. Dev. Whenever there's uh, cat treats for these cats, let's start the predictions. Yeah, predict away. 
Um, so it's not on the screen. If you haven't, oh, it is. Uh, yeah. It's just not if on this screen. Yeah. Sorry. I'll put it up. Sorry. Um, if you haven't played this version, because this is relatively new, we have separated it out more than just winning or losing. Mm. It's gone out to over under. Mm -hmm. So you can bet you pick the cat, Sprite or Atari, mm -hmm. and then you pick uh, whether one is going to win by one or two or win by three. I like that. Now, uh, Sprite is the favorite. Yes. And he has won the last two, the one two today, but so Atari might be due. Yeah. Atari does win sometimes. So yeah. he's, you know, he may not be the favorite, he but he sometimes wins. Two so. in a row. Yes. A couple uh, shows ago. Yeah. So you never know. You stay away from those. So we've got to close the door. And you got about a minute left yes. to bet. Uh, so you pick your cat and you pitch your, pick your bet. Yes. And that's how it works. Yeah. Cat betting. So we can see that um, there have been three categories. Oh, people are rooting for Atari. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. There's been some on Sprite for one or two over Atari, mm. um, an Atari one or two, or Atari three plus. Now nice. that's a risky bet, but it, big payoff. Big payoff. Um, if place everybody bets. bets on everything else, so yeah. far they are. So place your bets. Place your bets. Play, bet, pick, pick your cat. Yeah, we have Atari and, and we have Sprite. Yes. Yes. Um, Sprite is easily distracted, <laughs> but he's very fast at eating. Yes. Atari has strong rings and not easily distracted, but he does take his treats away. Yeah. He does so worry that the black kin's going to go after his treats. Yes. And Today he batted it towards Sprite and oh, whoa, no. boy, boy, did he go after oh, that. Oh, really? Atari's he stole like, it from mine. him. No, no, no. Atari's oh, Atari. like, mine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very defensive. Yeah, he's very defensive. I like the fact that Atari's agenda, it just isn't the same as the, the game's, game's agenda. Yeah. That's true. It's he's just like, Treat eh. protection. Treat protection. This yeah. is mine. It's not about speed Screw for you, Atari. little black cat. This is my treat. Yeah. It's for accuracy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think yeah. it's uh, now. Oh, it's uh, past. Okay, past. So that I think we're quick. ready for the game. All right. Okay, cats. Are you ready, kitties? Let's Are you ready? Go. And oh, Atari, Atari is... takes the lead. Oh, oh sprites, sprites shortly, very close behind. Yeah. Oh, nobody can see anything. <laughs> oh, pseudo graphics forgot to vote. That's okay. Oh no. Did Did you ring it? Oh. Oof. Atari, there, there we, go. we go. It didn't. He didn't quite hit it hard no. enough. No, it's close. Oh, half a treat. Oh, stolen. Oh, sprite, sprite. Well, that might be good for Atari. Yeah. If Atari can get to the bell in time. Get but... to the bell. Ring the bell. Oh, no, blocking. No. Oh, oh, oh my interference. goodness! Interference. Hit it again. Good there we kitty. Go. Atari's oh, head. Oh, Sprite right behind. Atari's just ahead by a hair. Yeah. So those people who voted on uh, Atari are in for. Oh, oh. Oh, Who hit that? That was definitely... Okay. Oh, both of them. Both of them. We'll take that as one each, because yeah. that was... I was thinking I... it was Sprite, but... Um... I don't know. Oh, there we go. Oh, now Sprite has pulled ahead. 5-4. And Atari's... No, oh, Sprite is Sprite still 6-4. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. No, you have to floor. hit the bell. Not the floor. Bell, kitten. Bell. <laughs> hit the bell. Oh, oh my goodness. Sprite 7-4. Hit the bell. Harder. Huh. Harder. Harder. You can Harder. do it. Harder. Hit the bell. Good kitty, good kitty. That's good kitty. Uh, oops, and Sprite is now eight, eight five for Sprite. Ooh, nobody <sighs> bet on three lead. over. Who was that? Sprite again? <gasps> Nine five. Hit the bell. Oh no. Hit the bell. What happens? Atari's off his game today. We're gonna maybe find out what happens when nobody wins. Yeah. Oh, uh, but Sprite is distracted. Yeah, Sprite is very distracted. Okay, That's hit the bell. Hit the bell. Not gonna help Atari hit the too bell. much. Atari. He Good kitty. Oh, nine seven. Uh oh, oh, game point. It's game point. It's been game. game... Oh, there oh, we go. you got it. Ten seven, too slow. Oh my goodness. Ten seven. Did anybody bet? Get, bet sprite three I over. Don't think so. So no one gets anything. I don't know. How does that work? We'll find out now. That's never happened before. Oh. Oh. No. Somebody did bet. Uh, oh, what? Yeah, somebody did bet. Oh, oh so wow. We'll find out. 
So it is Sprite with three plus one person. Who is the lucky person who Let's won big? Let's find out. Wow. Good job. And it is Gamma Dev. Wow. Good job, Gamma Dev, the one who triggered it in the first place. Oh, he had some inside knowledge. Wow. There we go. Good game, cats. Good game. Got that out of the way. Hmm? Wasn't that last one Atari? No, Atari... See, the thing is, they sometimes hit it, but they don't quite smack it enough to ring the bell, and it is about the bell ring. It has. We have to hear it audibly. Yeah, and, and they are slightly different tones. Yeah. Oh, spent 5K to win 9.30. Good job, Gamma Dev. <laughs> Conflict of interest. Conflict of interest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but I mean, I mean... Pfft. This black kitten actually interfering with the bell, like getting in the way with Atari trying to hit it. Oh, of course, yeah. Atari wasn't looking towards the bell, which is always a problem. He's looking at the treats it's, and he's not not looking at the bell. It's hard to police these cats. Yeah, it yes. is. <laughs> it is. They are cats. Yeah. But uh, Sprite clearly was the winner in that. So. But also, in yeah. that way, they have no motivation to win or lose or throw the fight. So it's, no. it, it evens out. It you does. can't really tell them what to do. No. They do what they want. They do their thing. Okay. Okay, let's that was a good time. Good uh, get job. into the games. Uh, the first game we're going to be playing is called Baldies. Baldies. Uh, December 1st, 1995. Um, so let's start the clock. And I'll give you the joystick to start it up. Come on. So it's day three. Remember day to go three. to day three. Actually, this is a CD based game. Oh. So if you go up to CD. Is it uh, B? B? B. Yeah. <gasps> Which one? Uh, Baldi's. Baldi's. Uh, Baldi's is a 1995 real-time strategy video game developed by Creative Edge Software. Strategy. Wow. Okay. And Jaguar's usually more louder than everything else. Uh, in the game, the player manages a community of Baldi's mm -hmm. in order to... Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Freaked me out. In order to uh, build structures, increase their population, and create weapons to fight against enemies known as the Harries. There are four classes of Baldies. Each structure has specific properties to assist the players. Oh. Is that stop motion? Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. It, its gameplay combines strategy and simulation. There we go. Uh, and god game elements. Up to four players can participate in multiplayer mode via local area network. Ooh, land. Mm, yeah. Fancy. Um, so I do have instructions. We're probably not going to even scratch the surface of this game. Yeah, because it's a strategy it's game a you strategy were saying. Game. It might take us a little while. So we might just be able to see the board. Yeah. Lemming ripoff. Ooh, it I does don't, sound like a lemming ripoff. I don't think it is. I think it's an overhead view rather than a side but, view. But a similar style of game. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Okay. Should this I stop this? Yes, please. This it looks this like is... it goes on for a while. So yeah. It looks neat, though. Yeah. Um, new game, enter password. So definitely new game, because we don't have a password. So we pick a level. Might as well be level one. Uh, memory controls. Um, B is select icons. C speeds up movement around the screen. And A... The instruction manual is terrible. It says A with joypad moves the screen instead of the cursor. Okay, so A moves the screen. There you a. go. Oh gosh, this is... So it's a, a resource management game, I believe. Um, and there are a lot of buttons to press. Yeah. What is... So I believe you can assign them. Like you pick... Let's pick one. Pick that guy. Is he waiting for instructions? I guess so. Okay, so you can assign him uh, to be a worker, which is one. Uh, no, he's... Right off. Right off. No. Okay, one. Okay. Did it work? Oh. Okay. Try and, pick, <laughs> try and pick another one and pick four for builder. I don't nope. think he's picked. With B, you have to press B. No, I did. Oh, he turned color. Yeah, four. Okay, now he's um, a blue shirt, or he's a builder. Okay, and you can make a soldier. Okay. Uh, 
happens with seven. Next one down. After you pick somebody. Oh, goodness. How am, I, am I picking them? I don't know. Don't or maybe understand. you pick uh, press seven and then pick him. And that'll assign. going on that's a sh soldier here yeah press seven. Oh, it turned turned green. into something so green. green i guess it's green yep oh no he is okay that's a soldier oh gotcha so what's white uh white is a scientist so you might need some scientists as well oh there we go okay so you pick which one and then you uh, click on them okay but then what's going on here I thought you got it. No, I'm just trying different things. Okay, so in here I have a scientist, a builder, someone with a red jumpsuit, workers. and a soldier. I guess that's your population of them? Because you've got one each of them. I don't know. Four people doing nothing. So can I assign roles? Uh, well, you were on the outside. The other, no idea. That's the other question mark. <laughs> yeah, I mean this is this is involved. Um, yeah, we don't have time to learn what we're doing. This is going to be. And mess. there's some stats on the bottom there. So the that's red. I have scientists. So. I have a, so you have a lot of red guys. So I think you assigned four of them. So I think the green guys with red overalls are doing nothing. Oh, unassigned? Yeah. So you can build houses. Uh, okay. Power bars, red power bar. Yeah, as we thought, worker power bar. It'll fill as more worker baldies are outdoors. Um, and you can invent things. How? How do you do any of these things? Mm. <laughs> when a scientist starts working on an invention, a status tube next to the invention's icon will fill with white. It's all along the bottom. There's things, too. So I'm trying to do something here because I assigned something. Mm, okay. So that's a builder. And there's a scientist over on the right-hand side. So you assign scientists to do things as well, I'm guessing. With we'll Go up to the question mark. And that's the one you were working on already. So maybe you did develop that one. I don't know. Let's see if there's a um, list of things that... Well, that's a pit. That thing in that green in the bottom left. The biggest pit, it can swallow lots of poor souls at once. Um, the other thing that the scientists could make was a popper. When somebody walks over the popper, they will be filled full of air until they explode. What? Oh my god. That's crazy. <gasps> Is that a skunk? Yeah. Where'd it go? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> Given all the space in a CD-ROM, you'd think they'd have a real tutorial level. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, it's confusing baldies with humans. This on uh, Captain Class, it says, this more populous or the settlers. Yeah. Can you pick flowers? You can't do anything with anything. No. Yeah, there's, there is a lot of things you can do. Um, to build a house, click on the flag in the main panel. Uh, you'll need to change worker baldies to build baldy to builder baldies to build your house. You have a lot of builder baldies. There you go. So it planted a flag, and they're going to get to work on that building right. that house. There's a, they have quite oh, a uh, quite a few guy blue over. overall guys, oh, but sweet. I don't know how to assign. Oh, oh, there you go. Wow. New house. Okay. Let's build another house. Okay. I guess houses would make more baldies. Oh, no, it's to make things. Oh, to generate things. So, like, I assume I can, and you can assign tasks and you can people to rooms? pick up baldies as well. Oh, there's no scientists there. Do I not have enough scientists? Oh, no, what's going on in the background? What is happening? No! Cancel! How do I cancel? Uh, oh, no. No, okay, never mind. That's <laughs> fine. I thought I had planted a flag there accidentally. Oh. Crazy! Looks like it could be cute. I know you have to figure out how, how it works. <laughs> All right. Next, next, next game is uh, battle. Next. next game is battle morph on CD. CD again. Uh, this is an exclusive. Excellent. 
Excellent. To Jaguar. Last one was also on PC, PlayStation, and Sega Saturn. Battlemorph is 1995's shooter video game developed by Attention to Detail. Uh, it is a sequel to Cybermorph, which we did play. That's a flying game. Okay. You didn't play. This is a shooter. Which okay. was a pack in. Taking 30 years after the events of the original game, and the player pilots a morphing infiltrator fighter, War Griffin, in. And no memory track found in an extermination mission against the Pernicia Empire, which plans to launch a full-scale invasion to eradicate humanity and take over the galaxy after being pushed back to their home planet. The player is tasked with various objectives while fighting against enemies and bosses across eight galaxy clusters in order to liberate them from the control of the Empire. Very standard fare for... Okay, let's skip the story. As nice as it is, we'll run out of time. Um, so I'm going to bring up the instructions as best as we can. Oh, tiny. Which means we won't have time to go through them all. Yep. Easy, thank you. Yep. Okay. Score zero, ships two, max ammo 20, easy. Sure. Oh. A little griffin there. Yep, pick the default. Welcome to the briefing room. Spies hidden inside four data pods. Recover the pods. Be careful out there. Both Be careful out there. You can put one weapon in each bay. Dino dudes? I don't know if we did dino dudes yet. Cruise balls. You probably don't have enough money to... Uh... Oh, you can assign one. Dino okay. dudes. That does sound familiar. I think we did do dino dudes already. It's been a couple days since we last played some Jaguar games. Mm -hmm. And of course they all blend together. Stand by. Stand by. Two, one, launch. Very heavy British accent. Launch. Target world. Oh no, it's uh, Scottish. It is Scottish. <laughs> Approaching target world. Very nice. Okay, uh, let's see the map screen, the debrief screen, uh, oh, the view screen, radar, uh, which is top right obviously skulls are enemies red for hostile green for oh passive God, I'm terrible at this one. I got him so the enemies are are circles or shoot you got him in your radar shoot nice uh diamonds are power ups a and b what's a Ugh. don't know yet uh rectangles are special buildings uh, Power-ups and special buildings only show up when you have enhanced scanning. Note, skulls for enemies that are carrying power-ups will have yellow eyes on the radar. Uh, ships, top left, how many ships you have? Oh, did you land? Or? I don't know what I did. Oh my god. This, this is thing. the most 90s... Shoot those trees! It's the most 90s uh, game I've ever Score uh, panel... Large instrument panel at the bottom of the screen is loaded with information you need. You have the speed, altitude, and energy. But, like, what am I going after? I thought I was going after boxes. Yeah. Okay, is that what I'm going after? There's some yellow things. I think that. Oh, probably that. There you go. We picked up one of them. Data pods. You need to collect these. I mean, is that the thing? Data pods. They look like pieces of paper. Do they? Yeah, apparently. Like, s seriously, just a rectangle piece of paper. 
Sounds like a mixture of Sean Connery and a Russian spy. Not sure what the voice actor was going for. The early Sega CDPSX had some of the best bad acting motion cut screens. Oh, good night, D-Train. Have a good night. Have you seen any pieces of paper? Oh, that, that. Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe that. It kind of, it's more like a, so there's, there's another There's one. a white arrow and there's a yellow arrow. And so I'm, I'm like trying to figure out if... There was a piece of paper there, I think. There. Nope. 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 Too high that's, enough. That's a very funny sound. Oh, it's shooting at me. I don't know. Bouncy. Those things, bouncy things are hilarious. Am I even oh, looking there. At... Get that. Oh, you missed it. Oh, there's another one. There we go. I think that was I good. I got it. Excellent. Um, my goodness. These games are hilarious. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, too low. That looks like weapons, though. No, I, I, I have a feeling that's what you're supposed to get. Well, you got two, so that would be the third one. Come on. You can slow down and speed up. Can I you? I believe A and C. No, it's up and down. A and C, no. no. A and B are your uh, weapons. You have A, B, oh, C, and okay. D. Uh, a, yeah. Oh, A's A, B, C. Oh. Oh. oh, my gosh. I mean, you could be right. I might... Get it this time. Get it. Get it. Oh, oversteering. Uh, oh. Uh, it's because it's in a trench. It's a pain in the butt. <laughs> Got it. Okay. I don't know if that's... And you crash into the ground. Where am I? Up. Aim up. Get out of the... There. There you go. Where am I trying to go? Oh, you have no speed. One of those is speed. Which one? Because you're not moving at all. There. That's, that's backwards. backwards. That's forwards. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Was it A and C? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said. I thought it was... That was A, B, C, D down there, but it's not... No, what are those... What going for? I'm so confused. Yeah, it's a data uh, pod. Because there's like a white, there's a white arrow. Data. I'm just running into things now. Yeah, go for the white Do arrow. Do you see the white arrow here? Yeah, I'm I don't know what that. that is. Slow down for it. Oh, it was, it was a um, thing you had to fly through. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that's shooting you. Uh, oh, there. Fly through it. Oh, <sighs> just missed it. Oh, no, nothing. That's okay. Nothing. The yellow one is over here. Where did you learn to fly? Not here. <laughs> yeah. Now I've gone through it multiple Background times. Background looks like blue lightning with a different That palette. might be where I have to go in the end. And that's it for this game. I mean, it, can, looks, it looks decent. Cool. Control's okay. <laughs> we just don't know what we're doing as no. per usual. No. And we don't have time for it. <laughs> okay, next one's Defender. Next game. CD? Def Defender 2000. CD? No, not CD. Uh, Side-scrolling shoot 'em up video game. Ooh, this might be uh, uh, 2D. Developed by Lamasoft. So it's going to look crazy. <laughs> it fo follows mostly a similar premise to the original Defender with a few new additions. The player as a mem member of the system defense team taking control of the Threshold spacecraft mm. is tasked to protect the working space miners and defeat invading waves of aliens. From the Alpha Proximum Empire. Oh, no box is coming down. That's not. Oh, oh. what? Yeah. Weird. L -l -l Loading. Loading. So, yeah. Shoot the bad guys. Keep the humans safe. Excellent. And if the humans are. Defender Plus, Classic Defender, Defender 2000. Defender 2000. Okay. Yeah. Because that's the one that this is all about. Oh, baby cat. So what, am, what are my controls again? Um, I will tell you right now. Should be straightforward. Up, down, left, right, shoot. And you probably have a uh, obliterate everything on the screen button as well. Oh, you have a human. To do? Oh, it's so zoomed in. Ugh. So zoomed in. Shoot the bad guys. Keep the human safe. Oh my god, it's claustrophobic. Okay, that that was a waste. Let's see. Control. Don't run into things. Maybe. Maybe. B button. What is going on? B. 
B button, fire weapon, C button, fire smart bomb. That's it. So how do I pick up humans? You don't. You oh. rescue them when they have been abducted and put them back on the ground. You've played Defender. Oh, it's before. been a while. Okay. It's been a while. And shoot. Oh, now put him on the ground. No, you no. dropped him. I, I oh didn't my do, I didn't. I'm speeding up. Oh, what happened? What is going on? I don't know. I finished the level? I'm guessing. I just... Oh my god, the humans are crazy. <laughs> this is like uh, watching... What is it? Code Bullet? And it's humans? <laughs> Ooh. Yes, that's right. No! no don't I didn't mean to do that! I didn't mean to shoot the humans! I was trying to. Where am I? Oh, there. Ah! I just run into things. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this game. It, it moves so fast. <laughs> yeah, and it's so. You are supposed to shoot the. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> if Jeff Minter was ever strike sued. Strike Force on the Jag. I thought this was Strike Force. Yep. I wonder if Jeff Minter was ever sued for epileptic seizures caused by his games. Quite possibly. <laughs> yeah. His, it, this his this games, is so fast. This is one of his more uh, it's, calm games. It's it really? Yeah. Usually his really? games are like everything's exploding in all kinds of colors so basically he was just like on amphetamines the whole time yeah. he was coding these things <laughs> it's so crazy oh, okay because i'm like i keep forgetting there's the map at the top yeah. it's so easy to hit things it is because it's oh my god so it moves zoomed in. so so fast if they just made it zoom out just a little oh human in trouble get him oh and i killed both of them and one zoomed after me so oh, fast I couldn't You shoot yeah. it, you pick them up and drop them? Like I I haven't quite figured out that mechanic yet. I yeah. know how the I know how the other game works, but it's exactly the same. This is just a and the, graphical the update. Run into you. Wow. Like, like within a half second yeah. of not being on screen, and yeah. you are useless. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Uh, Minter, for yeah. that. Tempest is probably the most LSD game or Attack Mutant Camels. What? Attack Mutant Camels? I don't know that game. It Attack already of sounds. The mutant camels. Still. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Man, the 90s, eh? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> There's something so weird. Uh, I don't know what that little thing does. It doesn't seem is to do it anything. protection? I don't know. No, it's after I kill. Oh, oh my god. Does he put him back on the ground? Oh, there's two. Humans in trouble. How do you put them on the back on the ground? You just, you just put them just down. Go on the ground. Oh, okay. So you just have to go down. Yeah. It's exactly like I love all the game. colors. It is so weird. There's something about this era of games I just find so crazy. The <laughs> oh. weird, like just the colors. Three dimensional and, looks. and the bright colors and like what is going on? <laughs> what is that? What is going on? This this could be some weird TikTok dance. <laughs> It could be. Or, or from like Fortnite. Like, I, it's just so funny. Now we know where those dances originate from. Yeah, definitely. Apparently, Defender, Defender 2000. Is that a power up? I'm guessing it is. Oh, he's helping me. It's an, it's an Empire Strikes Back clone with giant camels in place of at ats. Okay. <laughs> that does sound crazy. That explains it. Nice. Oh, I love these crazy go on the ground. Oh, sorry, dude. Oh my god. There we go. My little helper guys help picks up the guys and as they're being uh, so they don't fall down. Nice. Oh, finish another level, I'm guessing. Looks like it. Yeah, James is correct. Dropped a couple words. I attempts 2000 Jag and attack the mutant Campbells that are yeah. like 8-bit. Yeah. Wow, I completed a level too. Wow. This is much harder than Defender and I it's find... It's weird. I find Defender Defender hard. is hard. Well, there's a lot of weird stuff going on on this screen here. Like, how do you defend yourself against that where the thing just goes on the screen and kills you in a half second? Even a quarter uh, second. What do I call it? Challenging? Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Shot the human and missed the ship. <laughs> Best of all outcomes. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Oh, humans are in trouble. Oh, I actually got it. More humans are in trouble. 
Many humans are in trouble. Put him on the ground. He's oh. gonna fall. There you go. Oh, so many humans are in trouble. Oh, my little helper's doing most of the work, actually. Oh. oh. Catch that humanoid. One life left. Cool. Yeah, two zoomed in. Yeah, it's yeah. way zoomed in. Give me a smell. Correction, Tempest 3K is the most LSD game. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what system is the 3K on? Yeah. Is that modern? Is it or 4K? I don't know. It keeps making. It I don't know. You just keep adding Ks. Got you. And eight seconds left. Do I still have one? Nope. New one. Where did you learn to fly? <laughs> nice. Nice yeah. callback. All right. New one, Cubanismo says. New one. Uh, uh. The only reason to get a new one. Okay. Next game. Space Ace. A CD game. This is uh, in the vein of Dragon's Lair. Uh, it's a CD game. Oh. How do I go back? Not B. Uh, C, I think. Up directory. C. There we go. Okay. What was uh, it again? Space. Space Ace. Space Ace. Space, space Ace. I heard Space Race, oh. and I was like, mm, I don't think that's This right. was put out on a billion things. Arcade, Amiga, Apple II GS, 3DO, CDI, Jaguar CD, Macintosh, MS-DOS, Atari ST, Sega CD, DVD Player, Blu-ray, Wii, DSiWare, iOS, PlayStation 3, Android Switch. Space Ace is a laser disc video game produced by Bluth Group. Um, the gameplay is similar to... Space Ace, defend... Okay, quick, press something. Press something, we can't watch that. Oh, get me flagged. Okay. Uh, uh, requiring the player to move the joystick or press the fire button at key moments in the animation sequence. You died. Holy crap. So whenever it flashes, you have to press left, right, up, down, or the button. Or, or it could not work as well because it didn't flash. Nothing flashed. So maybe try push to the right, just like hold. To I the already right. did. Oh, no. Hold to the right the whole time. Okay, well that was, was that a different? different. Okay, try back or the button. Here's more ship. Maybe the button. Shoot. Gameplay is similar to Dragon's Lair, uh, blah, blah, blah. There's also occasional option to either temporarily have the character transform into his adult form or remain as a boy with different styles of challenge. <laughs> it may also not work correctly because of um, not perfect. And now it's black. Oh, there's more ship. Maybe I'm not hitting it at the right time. We'll just hammer it. It would be B, not C. Well, Most B likely. wasn't working last time. Okay. Yeah, yep. Different ending. Gamadev says, This one is more fair than Dragon's Lair because they flash almost every move. Plus, they don't get the insane number of moves that uh, Dragon's Lair 2 had. No idea. Right, right left, left, then down. down. But that's three moves. Well, those are the first three moves. So we'll try. I, I, I held it right last time. Oh down, right, left, down. Oh, right, you, you. left. Oh my god, that's so fast. Yeah. But it did work. It did work. Nope. Well, you moved to the right, but didn't move to the left. Oh my god. My turn. Oh, wait for the right, flash. Right, left. But there's no flash. We're, uh, we're not seeing any flash. No, he said, yeah, it's a wait for the flash. Oh, that flash. But I didn't see a second flash. No. Right, left, down. My goodness. Rock flashes right. Can get to the, the, to the rock. Oh, it doesn't flash at all. No. But when I press to the right, it does flash. Yeah, there's something messed up there. Yeah. There's, It's definitely not doing what it's supposed to. So I'm going to press right. Right, left, down. Then as soon as it works, I'm going to press left. No. Nope. 
You press too soon, you die. Oh boy. Yeah, but he's moving the first move. We don't see the first. We see the flash on the rock. But if you do nothing, that's what happens. <laughs> it doesn't flash until after. Yeah. It's, it's very weird. The timing. It's it's going to be a timing issue because it's not reading off a CD. It's not actually on a CD. So we're going to go to the next one. Yes. Because <laughs> this one is not going to work. And yeah. the next one's not going to work either, unfortunately. Because it's Dragon Slayer. They're both released at the same time. Dragon Slayer? Yeah. Oh. But we'll try. Thank yeah, you. You can see the, the beginning of it. You move before the flash. Uh, no. No. It, it didn't seem to matter. Yeah, if we don't do anything... It dies immediately. You die. You don't even see a flash. You don't see a flash at all. Like, not touching the joystick. So yeah. there, there's um, emulation issues. It's not really... Yeah, I think there is. It's near impossible unless you devote a week or so to it. Dragon Slayer? Yes. Dragon Slayer, December 6th, 1995. It has so many ports, I'm not going to even read them out. Uh, interactive film laser disc developed by Advanced Microcomputer Systems. Most other, uh, in the game, the protagonist Dirk the Daring is a knight attempting to rescue Princess Daphne from the eagle, evil dragon Singe, who has locked the princess in the foul wizard Mordrock, 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 oh, a terrible name, Mordrock's castle. Sword. I think it's sword first. With sword? Yeah. Um, probably B, but it might be any of them. Let me uh, look that up, just so we know they have a fighting chance. Oh, there's no music. <laughs> nope, didn't quite work. Oh, almost. It did flash. Well, it, but the sword came out last time, but it still didn't work. So obviously oh, it I had came to out? Some, yeah. Oh. Sword right up. So it is sword first. Okay. Sword right up. Um, the controls are... Oh, hey! That worked. So it was B for the sword? Sword right, right up. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Yay! Oh, well, this is actually working a little bit. What? You died? You went through the door? No. What? What's happening? Sword. Ah. Uh. Left, left. Kamadev <laughs> knows. <laughs> left on that part? What? I guess I have to hit the sword, then left, left. Yeah. Dead. Dead. That's not a death for the door. Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. It like went through the door and then it showed you dead. Yeah. Problems. Yeah, continue. Another one. See? See? Press them all. Oh. I did. I know. Here we go. Got through the it's a first part. Hey, great. <laughs> so what is it? Sword and then? Uh, It's sword right up. I'm just following what people in the chat are telling sword me. Right <laughs> sword up. right up. <laughs> okay. It is neat. I do think this is neat. It is purely a game of memorization, though. Yeah. Not up fast enough. I think I did it too late. Sword up? I did sword right up, and that worked too. Well, up makes sense, because you have to climb up. Yeah. So did you wait for a flash, or did you oh, just press it? Oh, it spawns after you change rooms. Gotcha. No, it they move forward, and there's a there's a break. You do right there. You have to do it right before it pauses. Before it pauses. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good luck to me. Yeah, it's just practice. Because <laughs> in the arcade, it flashes every time you. Yeah, there's not really a, a flash, so I think it's like there's frames getting missed or something. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. Now. Sword up. 
I did the sword and he swung it. He swung it and then up. Immediately, I guess. I think you don't do it ahead of time. I think you have to uh, wait for the sword and go up. Yeah. It's how you spawn oh, after... Oh, Dragon Slayer doesn't flash every move. Oh, really? The flash tells you what direction to go in. There you go. Good job. And then you'll go... It'll flash and you go right. That one... This one's, I think, easy. There. Right. Yeah, it flashes when yeah. you have to move. But not when there's time. options. See, why no, does no, it you're die not there? Dead. You don't but die why there. why does it do that? It just it says it doesn't when it changes rooms. Oh, front. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the door flashed straight ahead, so you okay. probably have to sword them straight. Multiple button presses equals death, says Cubanismo. Okay. <laughs> nope. I pressed it once. Too soon. Too soon Last time too I pressed it a lot of times and it worked. Yeah. This time I pressed it once on the advice of <laughs> not pressing multiple. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm going to press it multiple. Okay. Because it worked last time. Yeah. It's weird multiple is death. That's not continue. That's start from the beginning. Yeah, I agree. You didn't get far, far, far <laughs> no, enough again. No, no checkpoint. Run. Run. <laughs> Interesting. Da, da, da. And I died. Oh, if you press it after the next sequence starts, it'll kill you. Uh. And then forward. Yep. Nope. Oh, no. What? You, did you hit a button and then... I was trying to go through that door. Yeah. I don't know. Too late? It barely was on the screen. <laughs> Too early, maybe? Oh my god, this game. <laughs> Sword up, right down, up. Jeez. Okay. Nope. Too early or too late? It's almost oh impossible God. to tell. It is. I'm going to press it as soon as I see it on the screen. As soon as those tentacles come down. Up. up. Right. Right. Down. down. Up. Up. Then Sword. <laughs> oh, you almost did it. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, these games are insanely tough. Because you have to memorize exact patterns. Right. Down. Up. Then what? Sword? Yep. Up. And then you have to do something after that. You have to do something else. Yeah. Not the sword. Oh, down, left, and then up. Yeah, sword. that's what I was doing. You didn't do left, then up. You did down, oh. then up, left, then up. Oh, okay. well. That's okay. We have or, one more oh, try. We, we have one more go. This is the type of game I am terrible at. Massive memorization of very specific moves. Mm -hmm. and if you do any of these wrong, you die. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely crazy. This one doesn't seem... I thought I was just going to say, this one doesn't seem to mind you pressing the button too much. No, if you press it after you're supposed to, then you screw up your next move. That's the problem. Wow. Mm. It, it's beautiful, though. There's something about this game that's so oh, interesting. It's, it's like being yeah. in a Disney animation, you know? He did Disney animations. Yeah. That's why. I think as long as you don't press it after... After it moves. Yeah, then yeah. it's fine. So I can, like, hammer the button here. But as soon as it, like, plays the next thing, you have to... Left. Oh. Down, left, up. Down, oh, left, down. Up. Okay. Down, mm. left, up. Kitten, get your bum out of my face. Thank you. Yay. Yay! And now we die. 
on the next screen because I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Very Interesting. cute. Interesting. Very nice. Interesting. Yeah, um, we, we got, yeah, good job. I can see why that would be somewhat satisfying if yeah. you knew all the moves. Yeah. Um, next one is Missile Command 3D. Here? Uh, yeah. If I say CD, then you'll know. Okay. Yeah, you don't always. Uh, yeah, and this is an exclusive. Uh, Missile Command 3D is a shoot 'em up video game developed by Virtua Virtuality Entertainment. And this was just recently ported to uh, Jaguar VR using VR. Big okay. PEMU and yeah. using um, VR headsets mm. through the PC. Nice. Uh, Missile Command 3D is a shoot 'em up arcade game. Um, and the only official release title that features support for the unreleased Jaguar VR peripheral. Following the same premise as the original arcade game, the player must defend six cities in their zone from being destroyed as a regional commander of three anti-missile batteries by attacking an endless hail of ballistic missiles, some of which split like multiple independent targetable reentry vehicles with new weapons being introduced in later levels. So there's your cities. Yeah. Protect them from things coming in by shooting those. Shoot. Oh, oh, there goes Seattle. Oh my god. There goes Vancouver. That is really hard. Where are they coming? They're on the to... radar up there as well, which is nice. Oh. One's way barely. over the left. Oh it's my god. In, coming in on the left. See the radar on the bottom? Yeah. Where is it? You can move up. No, You're but like... where is it? Oh my god. What is going on? I'm trying to see it like the perspective is so weird. It's 3D. It's I, no, 3D. like I can't. This is useless at the bottom. Completely what? useless at showing you where things are. What? No, I can tell. I have a shot voice. now. It's completely useless. That's your whole screen. No, but vertical. I don't know where my crosshairs are in that screen. So I well, can't look at that to figure out where I'm shooting. Blue. Probably. Oh my god, this is terrible. The only w w way to win the game is to not play. They're coming in. Where are they? There they are. Some on the left. Oh, it's so... The perspective is crazy. Oh, oh my god. Exploding Vancouver again. Nope, too slow. There goes LA. Oh, this is insane. I don't like this. I'm not that. I, I'm not really a big fan of Missile Command anyway. We only so. have one city left, so defend that one. There you go. Yeah, I don't like I don't like the perspective of the It's like one missile left. Oh, you've just finished. Oh yeah. <laughs> they originally planned this as a Jag VR title, but realized that was never happening, yeah. Sega Master System also has a 3D missile command type game. It also wasn't good as the original. Yeah, the original was perfectly fine. Oh, it's got sun uh, flares. Lens flares for the sun. Protect that one city at all I costs. I can't even see the city on this map. When I it's scroll the up. Blue, it's the blue no, on the bottom. No, this is, you're not listening to my complaints here. <laughs> I can't see the city when I scroll up. I can't, it's like very not great. Can you see the blue dot at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, you do have to shoot that. I can't. I have no. I have no missiles missile left. Silo. Nope. I have nothing left. Nope. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, you have other this. weapons? Oh, yeah. you have other weapons. You have twenty of something. Or not? No. Oh no, it's shooting them. Oh, you know what? Um, C is your left missile silo. A is your right missile oh, silo. Oh, okay. B is the middle. Now you have zero, zero, zero. Oh, it's coming for your last city. No, no, it's not. It's going to miss it. You're going to make it to the next level. Oh, yeah. I played the VR version in Ve Vegas. It was tough. Yeah. Oh, nice. The rechargeable version isn't half bad either, like the power-ups, like slow down and power shots. Oh. I don't I don't like the perspective, is mm. what I'm saying. Is it, It's pretending to be 3D, but in fact, it's still a flat screen. 
except you can't see everything at once, like Missile Command. It's zoomed in, just like no, the... No, dead. Uh, oh. oh, no, not not dead. Half dead. Looks like you got an upgrade. Oh, what's that? Extra ammo. Oh, good, I'll take it. Yeah, just like Defender 2000. It's like, we're going to change the game to be, like, really zoomed in. Okay, does, does that make the game better? No, it does not make it better. It makes it ten times harder. Because <laughs> you can't see the whole screen at once. Oh, you're getting that hang of it now. Mm -hmm. Yay! Yay! One dead, one city. Oh, you get to place it, I think. No, I think it just goes back to oh, where it okay. was. It's coming in. Oh, it's a boulder from space. Oh, there's more boulders. It split apart. Oh, it missed. Okay. Oh, there goes oh, that missile silo. I didn't realize that was a thing. You've got 20 on your... Uh, a missile silo left. No! Oh, oh no, I killed it. Oh, that's surprising. Yep. All right. I'm sure you do a lot better now, starting over. But there's so much to de <laughs> there's so much to defend. Game over? At the beginning. Oh! You still have a city left. I thought he's dead. Maybe he's dead. I don't know. Yeah, the blue blue is what your current screen can see, but it's kind of weird seeing such a small part of the entire screen. Mm. Thank you for following, Nitzor. Yay! I was thinking that spells something backwards. It does not. <laughs> <laughs> They're so far away. That's what I mean. Up at the top. Yeah, and, and it's... It's hard to get a missile up there and, and estimate... Ooh, can you shoot that ship that's... I think you can. Oh, it's um, be past by it the is, time I get there. Um, I wish the, this blue screen had crosshairs on it. Oh, so then you're pl kind of playing the missile command game at the bottom and then seeing it expanded. Yeah, but you can see your crosshairs right there. No, no, but I mean in the blue screen at the oh. bottom. So you can just move around and, you know, yeah. that to me is missile command. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just weird that you're zooming in There's on this huge too screen. much programming time on that lens, lens flare. flare yes <laughs> it's the best part of the game <laughs> <laughs> it's the lens flare game and a young jj abrams was never the same <laughs> <laughs> he saw that he saw he this saw game. that and said like, yeah Whoa. every tv every tv show i do and every movie yep. i do from now on has to have that lens flare the lens flare from yep. defender yep. or from uh, missile command 2000 wonder if i can get this guy come on get him Oh, come on. Oh, you can't shoot that low. Weird. No. I think it's the same with Missile Command. You're kind of screwed at a certain point. Okay, we're going to move to the next <laughs> game. Needs more lens flares. Lens flare. I agree. Definitely not enough. There's a lot of lens flares. Uh, next game is Mist on CD. Mist. Now you should be able to play this game. Well, I haven't played it in a long time, but I do like Mist. Oh yeah, bring it on! Now we're talking. <laughs> December fourteenth, nineteen ninety-five, released for a billion systems, every single one. Mist is an adventure game designed by Miller Brothers. Uh, the game, the player travels via a special book to a mysterious island called Mist. From there, solving puzzles allows the player to travel to other worlds, ages, which reveals the backstory of the game's characters and helps the player make the choice of whom to aid. The player interacts with objects and walks to different locations by clicking on pre-rendered imagery. I've, oh, that's hard to read. Catherine, I've left you a message of utmost importance in our four chamber beside the dock. 
enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Well, I found one so far. Do we have a four chamber at our house? A four chamber, <laughs> maybe. Is that the foyer? The foyer? That's two. Would it be? Can I go in here? Yes, yeah, I can. Is that a dentist chair? Uh, nope. It's this is the. Sure looks like one. I believe. Gotta push some buttons and throw some switches. January first. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, there's dates. One. Is that year one? Oh, March. Ah, sure. uh, there's a date somewhere. That's uh, okay. Uh, how do I get out of here? A B C. No. Click on a special part. Back. Oh, down. There you go. Okay. The speed run record for this is 50 seconds. Is there, is, is it, uh, oh, see, haha. -ha. Constellations. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I'm having vague memories of this now. <laughs> um, yes, uh, you have to key something in and figure out a constellation. Oh. Um, I found two switches so far. <laughs> Um, let's go this way. Haven't been in this room. This is his library. There's stuff to interact with here for sure. Oh, I love mist. <laughs> yeah, let's let's see some video from 1990. And you um, played the sequel to Mist. I played all the sequels. All the Mist. sequels. All the sequels. The modern abduction. One. The abduction. Yeah, I think there's abduction. another one too. They're working on, or they finished. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Nope. Is this the full version of Mist or the demo that came with the CD player? This would be the full one. Live. That's at least 60 pixels across. Bring me the red. Say maybe 15 frames a second. A little less. Can't understand what I'm saying. No, it's because there's no subtitles. We're so used to them here. I remember when this was the peak of PNC point and click adventure games. Didn't care for myself. I preferred the hand drawn King's Quest artwork. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love this game. There was an awkward middle ground of consoles and games that I just really didn't get into. And this is the era of early 3D and CD games. Really? Yeah, I just... See, I like this a lot because it was all story-based. Like and um trying to use this like technology too much and it, it just... What? It's not quite... What are you talking about? Quite there. <laughs> No, it's because it, it's the world. Like yeah. they have videos, but oh, see, yeah. there's the island. I'm in this room. There's yeah. something behind it. Ooh. How can somebody do I this in something? 50 seconds? Excellent. There must be like only a th couple things. That did something. Couple things you need to do, I guess. Nice. Or is it puzzles to solve puzzles to pu solve puzzles? You go world to world hints. to world. Yeah. Oh, hi, kitties. You're cute. Nice. And then there should be a blue book. That was the red book. I think there's a blue book in here. Let's go this way. Hi. Hi. And there's this. My little bat cat. Oh. Okay. Stairs? Everything's oh. creepy in here. <laughs> Everything. Which is what made it such a good game. Was there music that we're just okay. not hearing? What was this? Oh, you closed it. You didn't even go in. No, that's okay. okay. You can go in. Nope, didn't Used like that. Up. No, that's not how it works. <laughs> you just have to click on this one. Oh, one opens, opens, one closes. Not quite real looking, especially the humans drawn in computer graphics. So oh, the yeah. PC version is much better than this. <laughs> From what I recall, at least, I, I remember it being, there it is, there's the blue book. So we drop the blue thing in the blue book, and then we open the blue book. I'm having weird flashbacks <laughs> to playing this game. Oh, no, sorry. Play the video, please. 
play the very pixelated <laughs> Are these videos useful? Yes. Well, they they become useful eventually. If I think you find the red and blue pages, and then it makes the video watchable. Oh. Okay. Something like that. I can't remember. It's been a long time. Yeah, you have to drop the pages in. Is this then, one you hear like one or two words yes. every ten seconds? Never, never. But it gives you hints, and then based on what you find as you go through, you bring them. Yeah, it fills in the blanks. So. Yeah. The blue page. The blue pages and the red pages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good times. Good times. I'm having playing this on my dad's computer. Oh, 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 fireplace. Crawl up the fireplace. Oh. Very dark. You remember better than what it was. Uh, retro nostalgia disorder. <laughs> That's what Tanya has for this game. I do have retro nostalgia disorder. Oh. I mean, it was a very uh, uh, unique concept. No, I love this game. I, it's not It's not what you're saying. I enjoy this game a lot because I like puzzle games. Yeah. I always And I, I always found the atmosphere of it very creepy. And I felt like that was what this game did really well, was mm. having this weird, creepy atmosphere, even though the graphics were very kind of point and click and basic yeah uh, but nicely like rendered for um video game graphics Creepy. and the fact of uh, you know combining the video with the pre-rendered graphics the sense of movement i mean there mm -hmm. was no movement it was pictures essentially it's like one it's like the it's like the complete opposite of Dragon's Lair. Dragon's Lair had moving pictures mm. and very little interaction. This has static pictures and a lot of interaction. But your time is up. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I'm just play this game for the You can play life. it another time. Oh. It's always there. Next one is Atari Carts, which we can play together. It's an exclusive nice. December 15th, 1999, a racing video game developed by Miracle Designs. <laughs> Player takes control of one sev uh, several playable characters, each with different capabilities. I wonder what this is the answer to. Uh, Mario Kart? Um, sorry, Atari Karts. No CD. No CD. <laughs> I'll try and say CD when it is a CD. I'll say no CD from now on. I'll just tell me. I'll just say not a CD, and not I'll be like, CD. okay, not a, not a CD. Uh, during races, the players can obtain power-ups. Not bananas. Not shells. Something else that exa act like exactly like them. It plays similarly to Super Mario Kart and features Bentley Bear, main protagonist <gasps> of the arcade game Crystal Castle. Really? Bentley, Bentley Bear, Bear is makes the an appearance. unofficial mascot of Atari. They never uh, fully embraced him. They should have... Yeah, people are still asking Atari to embrace Bentley Bear. Aww. They don't seem to be responding to it. <laughs> They're like, eh, this don't. this chick has very weird proportions <laughs> going on there. She has a very thin neck. <laughs> she does an extremely she... pointy chin. Yeah. Very funny yeah. and very broad shoulders. Very I feel like she's 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 a. She definitely has re relative a, uh, of mine. <laughs> a filter on her face. Oh, you get one shot. Yeah. Uh, player two, press A to join. Excellent. So Bentley Bear. I'm going to be the octopus. Oh, wait a second. What do I want? Ooh, I want good acceleration, but I'm not top speed because I'm just a beginner. So I'm going to play this Mistress. very strange, thin necked person. Okay, I'm on the bottom, Tanya's on the top. Oh my god, where's my acceleration? That's... What's wrong with my accelerator? C? What's happening? A, C, whichever... C is like... A, A is the accelerator. I'm holding it down, but it's like... 
not really moving me. What is happening? Ah. Oh, somebody just hit me from behind and kicked me into high gear. But I'm slowing down. What is what is going wrong with my person? Did you hit something on the ground? Did I tap it? No, nope, you just hold it. Mm, broken. Oh, come on. Get out of there, Bentley. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? You can't accelerate either? Oh, I just had something weird happen there. I was stuck. It's not doing well. Ah! I'm like hitting something from really far away. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like the hitbox is big <laughs> or something. Somebody hit me. Reverse. You just go backwards. I can't do anything. Backwards. Go backwards. My controller is broken. Oh, no. I've got a Mad Cat's controller. Definitely. No. Something's. Something's up? All busted up. Somehow. Mm, weird. Shoulder buttons work on the Pro Controller, but A is just not working for acceleration. Really? And just look at how fast I'm going. Oh. Which is zero. Oh! Ah! I'm holding up the whole parade here. Yay! Finished. That was weird. Can I try? Is it just the controller? It's not me, if that's what you're thinking. Why can't you go forward? I don't know. That's super weird. Yeah. You're not going forward at all. No, it kind of goes blip, 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 blip. Like it's on turbo or something, but uh, definitely not a super scalar game. No. What's going on? You can go backwards really fast. Maybe you just have to do the whole track backwards. <laughs> Oh, maybe. <laughs> That's a way to do it. It's very hard to see where you're supposed oh, to we'll go. Oh, we'll restart Okay. It. Interesting. Just do one player. That Ooh. is not go going. It's a very nice graphic there. Mm -hmm. That's funny. Just enough time to do another. That was very strange. Something is not right there. Correct. What did I want her? I played Bentley Bear. Bentley Bear worked just fine. Wow. Hmm. Hey. Hey, little Bentley Blair Bear. Come here. <laughs> oh, Bentley Bear Cat. When he was a kitten, he was very fluffy. And tiny. And his belly fur was yeah, almost like this. chocolate brown. Yes. And he lost it. It was like his baby fur. But I was, I had half a mind to call him like little bear. Oh, because he bear. had like a little grizzly bear kind of look to him, a little black bear, grizzly bear. And now he's he's more, a little more black. He has a bit of almost like a lighter fur on his belly, but it was very very cute. And I was reading up about chocolate colored cats, and they're extremely rare, like a light oh. brown chocolate brown cat it's because got a bit of it, it, they're yeah. a variation on the black. Yeah. And they have kind of like, there's different kinds of melanin and they have sort of like a more of a brownie melanin color in their, in their fur. And, uh, they're very, the chocolate brown cats are, are like, I think bread. I think they're usually like oh. purebred cats. Um, but I thought, I thought what an interesting color for a cat, but he did have that brownish fur. And he lost it. And though. then he lost it as he got bigger, but it was very, very cute. He was like a little bear. Oh, I'm almost lapping somebody. Wow. Good job. Last lap. Ha, ah, lapped you. Lapping more people. Well, not if I play like that. Yeah, keep hitting those those barrels. <laughs> there you go. Yay. Yay. That's good. It's fine. The the um sky up above is really nice. Miracle Designs would go on to make the smash hit for PlayStation Hooters Road Trip. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, it's correct. Hooters Road Trip. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get to play the next one. Ah, oh, okay. very nice. For 36 seconds. Oh, my God, my acceleration's too crazy. You're on ice. I spin out. It's the ice level. Not and to be confused with the water. Oh, you're right. The hitbox is... Is ridiculous. Absolutely insane. You're hitting the tree, like... 
like three car lengths away <laughs> from the tree. It's crazy. Avoid the trees at all really costs. You have to really avoid. Really avoid. Maybe it was ice or something in the ice no. I was hitting? I, I, I found that too. Sometimes... The Look! Hit, it's, yeah, a, it's the rocks. I it's don't think rocks. so. I mean, sometimes you hit something and you're like, there's nothing there and you're really far away. And other times it seems to go right up to it. So I don't know what's going on there. I have to avoid that whole okay. area. Time is up. Next game. Okay. Next Who game. needs Mario Kart? No exactly. one. We've got this. <laughs> We've got Atari Karts. Here we go. Uh, Fever Pitch Soccer, December 15th, 1995, exclusive. Known as Heads on Soccer, not CD. In North America, a soccer game developed by U.S. Gold for the Sega Genesis Mega Drive in 1995. How is this exclusive then? Fever Featuring pitch. a. <laughs> no, I heard soccer, and I was like, "What was the first first part of that?" Oh, Fever pitch. To me. I Featuring am, an arcade-style approach to soccer compared to other titles released at this time. Mm. Fe Fever Pitch Soccer allows the players to have choice of playing across any game modes available with either CPU control opponents or other players with the team of their choosing. So I will play against you. We'll see if this works. I don't know what was going on there. Oh, that's some heavy gravity. And some very bouncy ball. English. Uh, I guess tournament is all we have. Oh, maybe go back for options. Ooh, there's Canada. Amazing. How do I go back? It's usually C. No. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Canada. Wait, you go? Oh, wait. Two? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, you want to be Canada? Well, I'll be Kuwait. I, I can change Kuwait. Oh, can I? Okay, fine. First round. I seem to be playing? Let's see. Who's who? You're Canada. I don't know which way I'm going. Am I going the right direction? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kicked it a... Is this Kuwait? I think I brought it into my own end. Okay, so I am Wonderful. Red. No, that is Canada. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. What? What is going on? You have to throw the ball. How? How? Press a button. Oh. <laughs> it's, no, it's just not the B. It's the A. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. No! Yeah! I scored on my own goal. Oh. <laughs> I think. Yeah! <laughs> That's a bad goal. Better than checkered flag, though. Hmm. Replay. Replay? No, don't show that again. Look Funny. what he did. Yeah! No. No, I, I scored on you. I'm green. You're red. We were together. Oh, were we? Somebody kicked the it ball. Probably just I definitely pressed the button. Okay. Keep going. There we go. Ugh. Don't worry, I kicked it out again. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh my god. No! Where's my guy? It's a runaway! No! Oh! Oh gosh! Yeah. I just nailed your <laughs> goalie. Oh, come on! Like. Where are my guys? Come on, guys. <laughs> Get him! Yes. No, I I feel like you pick up the ball and then it's like, where are my guys? They're nowhere near, like anywhere. Well, sometimes it's like that for me too. Yeah! No. <laughs> Kuwait is kicking Canada's ass. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, getting kicked out of the country now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the yeah, replay. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. Uh. Just kick it, kick it towards the goalie. No, oh, come on. Ah, no, no. Oh no, no. Oh. Oh no, come on. No. Oh no. 
Oh my gosh. Oh no. Get it. Get the ball. Oh, come on. He keeps dropping it. My guys, come on. Yes. Oh, no. Finally a goal. <laughs> you look so sad. Oh, so sad. But you're still winning. And oh, this is this is fine. Yeah, yeah decent. Sensible soccer. Jag is probably the better game. Um, but this isn't bad. How do we skip this? There we go. What? Still in the replay. Oh, my God. Kick off. I don't like I don't like the control once. Oh, you tripped me, Raf. What's going on? Yeah, kind of quite. There we go. Oh, another foul! Come on. Oh, come on! He walked right past it. Oh, <laughs> walked it right off. What the hell? Oh. Yes. Shouldn't be, should have been a mutant league soccer. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Oh my god, look at that guy. It's huge. I've never seen a Canadian that big play soccer. Never. That is not <laughs> not the body type that you would not uh, normally see playing not soccer. <laughs> lose the ball an awful lot well so do i as soon as you Ugh. touch the other player yeah it... no oh your oh. fault it was my fault like how how like come on come on someone pick up the ball somewhere oh come on Useless. <laughs> They're so useless. Oh, what? What happened? Oh, it's over. Oh. Half time's over. Remember? Switch sides. Or I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> oh, come on. Useless. Run, 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 run. Yes. Yes. I don't. Oh. There's no one there. Why is there no one there? <laughs> So what? Why do you get to throw it in? It's your goalie that threw it off the field. Oh, come on. This is so complicated. Tripping. I'm not tripping anyone. I'm just passing the ball. <laughs> you tripped me. I fell down. Oh, come on. I was severely injured. <sighs> no. Yeah! I couldn't even see my goalie on the screen. <laughs> Oh, two big guys. Yeah! We live it on a tie. <laughs> yeah, it needs a map for the screen for your, uh, oh, that to would show be where good. your teammates are for long passing. That would be good. Yeah. Next one is I War, an exclusive not CD. December 15th, 1995 is a shooter video game. Oh, I, what, what happened? Atari carts. No, I didn't hit it. Lies. I must have touched it accidentally. Lies. How do I go? Go back. Go I back. I loads. Do you? A lot of mm. these games don't. Uh, cartridges do not like you doing uh, turning it off in the middle of loading. Fair enough. I war. With the databases of override, mainframe, supercomputer began mutating and blocking the iWay computer network. The players tasked in piloting an antivirus tank vehicle and entering into the virtual world of the 2000s. Um, to clear out the network, eliminate computer viruses and eradicate the mutated databases. That's how you, that's how you get the viruses. The game was originally announced in late 1994 under a different title. I War. That looks like a 16 by 9 um, picture squished into a 4 by 3, doesn't yeah. it? It's so <laughs> vertically stretched. Oh. Sounds like Lawnmower Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, these graphics. Want speed? Oh, Weapon wow. shield? Sure. Okay, B exit. Yep, I have a laser. Prepare okay. for node alpha matrix. Oh, it's so futuristic, man. I know. 
What oh. is happening? Oh, it's oh. like Tron almost. Okay, forward, back. Where's my bloody guns? I can't seem to shoot anything. Run! Pick stuff retreat! Up. Yep, oh. you picked up a mark a oh, radar, so you have to pick stuff up, not get shot. Oh, now I have a bullets. Oh, now you're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You explode. Oh, I there's that other guy shooting at me. Oh, oh. there's that green thing. I think it's something you pick up. Data pod. Ah, you gotta get the data pods. Is that a bad guy? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Now there's the data pod. Good job. Now it's happening. Now you're figuring it out. Shoot it. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh. Maybe I'm supposed to shoot it down. Yeah. Oh, down is like a switch. Yeah. Um, so some more things over here. Something flashing on the ground down there. there yeah. That's my exit. Wow, man. Oh, my God. Those look like viruses. Damage critical. Yeah, I took a lot of heavy damage at the first level there. Oh, my God. oh no. <laughs> I died in the alpha matrix. <laughs> <laughs> But I can regenerate from a backup. Who's shooting me? Where? Is it you? Oh, it is you. Die, die, die. Look, all the bullets. How come you can't die? Oh, there you my. go. That took a lot. Oh, let's get some nope. stuff. There's a switch there. Oh, my dad is critical. Oh, oh my and damage it's is load. critical. Yeah. What? It's very difficult. I need these other buttons. The other buttons don't do anything. It's just shooting. Shooting and evasive maps. Evasive maneuvers. Hi! Well, I can shoot his booba bullets. Hi! Are you doing okay? How's your eyeball? Is it getting better or worse, baby? He says, I'm fine. No, oh, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about you. Did your eye. Get all the data pods. Yeah, he's all a little winky today. He's winky. I don't know if he's... Maybe his brother smacked him in the face, or oh, that's almost a guarantee. Or you know, oh, got an infection or something. That. We'll take him to the vet. I think. See what he's like tomorrow, and then call. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not if it's not any better, then he might need eye drops. Oh, I am supposed to kill those Poor green things. Little guy, are you the bouncies? Probably viruses. <laughs> are they? Are you in the mainframe? I'm in the mainframe. <laughs> oh, is that a gun? Oh, I got a new laser. Oh, now I have two shots. Are you going to have a showdown with Hexadecimal? That's right. I love Reboot. <laughs> <laughs> Canadian. Canadian. Canadian series. Yeah. Yeah. No, I can't. Not a lot of them that uh, people know. This is how antiviruses work. In yes. <laughs> yes. In destroying if you were to... all the viruses on my floppy disks. Yes. Yes. Remember when floppy disks could uh, um, do anything and uh, start wars or have oh, yes. all the data on them and yeah. every cartoon character had a floppy disk in their hand that they needed to get to somewhere. Okay, come on, stop moving around, bouncy virus. My damage is critical. I must stay away from you. Do you have to kill him or...? Okay, now I can get him to stop moving. Yeah. Yay! Good. And there should be a floor thing somewhere? Hopefully I get there. healed up. Nope. Still damage critical. That's not correct. Oh, you're back at the beginning. Oh. Go ahead. Interesting. Can I go in here? Maybe. Am I just going to crash? No, nope. nope. I bounce. Bouncy, bouncy. Oh, there's stuff over there. Green things? Over here? Yeah. Oh! Ah! Oh, battery! That might help. Energy oh. pod. Secret, secret compartment. Mm. Good eye. Anything here? No. Mm. At least there's some, like, um, graphics <laughs> on the textures. Like, some of the earlier games we played, it was just, like, wall of pink. And you're like, I have no idea what I'm looking <laughs> What I'm looking at or where I'm going. Oh, well, that's, that's where I was. Room. Where? I don't see anything. Is there anything in there? Don't hurt yourself. Um, 
I remember oh, real floppies, 5.25 inches. None yeah. of this three and a half inch floppy disk. Not a floppy. That's the future. It's a hard disk. It's not floppy. It's floppy floppy disks are floppy. You go like this, and they waver back and forth. It's what's That's inside why they're, that counts. It's, they're it's floppy. the floppy inside. No, it's the <laughs> physical floppiness. It's got to be floppy. Yeah. It's the whole point of calling it a floppy disk. Well, I can't get that thing up there. I have to get that down somehow. Hola, Vitoko. Hola. Garage, oh, garage shading. I'm guessing that's related to the some Precious. of the graphics. Oh, what's that? Boing. Can it bounce? Oh, it did bounce me. It's dead now. Oh, now it's not doing it anymore. It was oh, you going can't nuts. get it anymore. Oh, no. Well, there's the exit, but I don't want to go to the exit You want to get that thing. How come it's not bouncing anymore? Maybe I'll shoot, shoot it? that again. Look at that. Boing. Okay, let's try that again. Line it up. Yes. Yeah, collect those data pods. Exit's now open. My back. No, oh, it's a different area, but it's empty. Nothing. Nothing. Guess I go to the exit again. Ooh, different area. Let's get these. No. Do I shoot them? Oh, I can get in there. Sorry. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, you did it. Oh. I want and to fly. we're done. No, I want to fly. Okay, you fly for a little bit. You're cutting into the next game. Just a little bit of flying. Cheating. See, this is cool. I like the flying around in a tunnel kind of thing. Oh, oh my god. Big hitbox. Okay. Oh, you've got a cat. I do have a cat. The next game is uh, Supercross 3D. Supercross 3D. Not CD. Off-road motorcycle racing game uh, by Tiertex Design Studios. December 15th, 1995. Um, themed around motocross, the players compete in races across 14 cities of the United States. What about Canada? Come on. Such as San Jose, Dallas, Orlando, Florida, Indianapolis, and Atlanta and Seattle. So maybe pick Seattle. That's pretty close to sure, us. Sure, sure. Three hours away. Not too far. Not, Not too, too far, far a drive. Rock and music. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, race. Oh, British. D Forkin. Team Jaguar. Jaguar. I don't know. Are you supposed to? I don't know. There. Jaguar. Pick one. There you go. Sure. British. Close enough. I bet. I wonder if there's Canadian. Go to Seattle. Seattle. How do I get? How do I get up, to? Up, up, up. There we go. I'm guessing this game is gonna suck. If memory yeah. serves, yeah. really low frame rate. It looks pretty rough. Kind like. H. Roscoe holds the track lap record. We'll see. We'll see how low Whoa. frame it is. Practice race map. Racing against Italy and Japan. Heat A. Oh. Oh no. The frame rate is. Oh my god. Fairly poor. <laughs> it's. Oh no. And I'm off the track. Oh! <laughs> this is Your so... left arm got crushed by the motorcycle. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's some other people having some issues. Oh, this is. This is. Very poor. Mimics the true experience of motocross. <laughs> Driving and riding and. Oh my god, this is awful. Is there, is there like a. Ah, this is awful. And I'm off again. Oh, you broke your motorcycle. Uh, I'm in seven. Whee! This is like the frame rate of racing destruction oh my set god. on the Commodore 64. Which obviously didn't have a stupid graphics. Oh my god, this is awful. Oh, there's a guy at the top of the hill. That's a very dangerous spot to be in. Oh, they're to put out the fires. <laughs> I think they had extinguishers in their hands. That's not surprising. Amazing! Five to seven frames a second. Yeah. Classic, <laughs> around there. It's, it's... I would be embarrassed releasing this. The animation is like four frames. 
Left, yeah. right, straight ahead. Yeah. Maybe two on each side. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but <laughs> I'm not really. Yeah, this is... Oh, my goodness. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, exciting. Oh, my God, this is awful. Seventh place. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh! How do, I don't even know how you do the turns here. It's crazy. Apparently, you can land anything while you're on the track, but if you go off the track just a little bit, crashed. Yeah, well, that's how it works. <laughs> Instant crash. You can I mean, never land on your tires off the track. Ugh. And if you hit the side of the track, crash. D forking. Still seven. And lapped. Oh, massively. Like, I think they maybe should have cut back on some other things to get some more frame rate. To get some more frames going. God. Yeah, you can't cut corners. You just That's hit a wall. That's brutal. Invisible wall. Oh, oh, man. And the visible walls, too. Invisible hay bales. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The frame rate is very low. This is rough. Rough, I think rough, you rough, are rough. right. About f oh. five to seven frames a second. Yeah. It is, it <laughs> yes. is very low. Oh, my goodness. Like, I can see individual frames. Gosh, overturning. Lap two. What? Lap, lap three. What? Lap no. Three Last lap. You can make it. Lap three? Yeah. yeah. I like, believe in you. Oh. oh my god, right into the wall. <laughs> That's Terrible. Hit the sign that says wow. turn left. Oh man. And the yeah. motorcycle looks fine. Everything looks fine. It's no. the frame rate. No. No, no, I think no. it looks fine for this era. The terrain looks era. horrific. <laughs> Just horrific. For this era? Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll accept yeah. that. But Yeah. I mean, you have to work within what, what the era can um, support do. and yeah. do. Um, That's probably why I didn't play a lot of these games in this era. Oh, no. I always found them pretty rough, all the kind of 3D like, games. If you bought this as a kid... You brought it home, and you played lots of games in the arcade, and you're like, "Oh, awesome! I got a motorcycle <laughs> game." And you played this, I'd be, I'd be taking this back to the, the store. I'd be like, "Is this broken? Is there a problem oh, with my God, cartridge?" You've got to be kidding me! This is just awful. Yay! Oh no, I'm off and, the end. Oh, you almost crashed. <laughs> I did crash, didn't I? Yeah, it froze you in mid crash. Oh, funny. Yeah, I was not in first place. No. One minute left. Sure. So <laughs> get a lap in. Oh, uh, seventh place. That was rough. That was rough. Are you forking? Mm -hmm. Is it? Is it B? No. It's. Do I have to press forward? I don't know. It's rough. And oh. dead. <laughs> I wonder if I can cut it's tracks. rough. And straight to 8th place. <laughs> I'm going to come right back. Okay. Whee! Oh, it is so hard to control. And crash. That one you would have crashed. I hit the side of the... side of the hill. And... Oh, crash! Can I cut the corner? Oh, no! I don't know if I was able to cut the corner if it's like, no, you went off track. You're going to crash no matter where you land. I'm going to try and cut a corner again. If I can. Let's do it to the left here. Oh, I didn't make it. Oh, that's the end of this. I don't think this is a very good game. Uh, next one is Attack of the Mutant Penguins. From December 20th, 1995. Uh, an action strategy video game developed by Sunrise. 
Uh, port titled meant uh, no, did, uh, plot files Bernard and Rodney intergalactic heroes defending Earth against alien invaders disguised as penguins. A player must dispatch alien penguins before they reach a doomsday weapon in the form of a weighing scale. Earth also has real penguins who help the player by fighting the aliens and counteracting their weight on a scale. Oh my god, it's very loud. Attack of the Mutant Penguins. So you're not allowed to play anymore because you have butter all over your hands. No, I don't. It's salted popcorn. No, it is buttery. No. You want some? Difficult. Is it treat time? Tricky, normal, or wicked? Hmm, tricky and wicked sound. Boing. Select your player. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, no. He's, he's happy. Let's pick the happy one. Go. Canyon Chaos. Oh, 6.44 a.m., time to go to bed. Good night, <laughs> pseudo graphics. Yeah. Excitebike 64 got a fluctuation frame rate of 24 to 15, but wasn't con constant, which is also bad. If this game could do a consistent 15, it might be okay. Mm. Oh, boy, what is happening here? Okay. Oh, cute. You'll press the fire button. The problem is you don't have it yet. You need three to collect three letters to spell bat or pan in order to get the weapon. Okay. You have tried to drop a gremlin or flick a switch. You need to be immediately next to a switch. See, this is how you do a game. Mm -hmm. You have pressed the special button. You don't have any items to use. Valid items are instant build, dynamite, glue, and coins. Mm. Okay. So I need to collect some. I seem to remember seeing a video about this, and it is bizarre. So you have to avoid the things. I guess. Or do I pick them up? Oh. Oh. You... You kick them? Well, I'm getting points, and I'm pressing a button when I encounter these guys, so I'll keep on doing that. That guy looks not happy about what I'm doing. Is that a switch? No. Oh. Can't get that guy. But I can get the blue guys. What are those? They look like they're something. Oh. oh my god. Oh, there's P. Yay, P of Pan. This is a bizarre game. It doesn't look like things are oh, killing you. Pressed it too many times. Could read it. No, nothing is hurting me. Warning. Oh, what's what is why? Hey. Pan. What is happening there? Things are fighting. So I can only do anything to the little blue guys. Yeah, see if you can explode that other one over there and get another letter and get a... How did you do it? Um. You have collected your weapon. Use it to hit penguins, gremlins, and dinosaurs. Power up your weapon to kill penguins. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I have something to smack. Oh, take that. can't kill them, though. Oh no, big trouble. Gremlins. <laughs> this is a very strange game. Mm -hmm. I, it looks nice. Looks really, really nice. Mm -hmm. It's like a rip off the Toe Jam and Earl game. Mm -hmm. it, it does. Oh, what? Okay. Whatever you did, you didn't <laughs> do fast enough. Yeah. That was normal level. Let's play. Let's play the same game. Did you want another popcorn? Popcorn? Loading, loading, loading. Oh, I just have to touch them. Yeah. I'm guessing you have to get the PAN and get back and, like, deal with that guy or. Yeah. Okay. And I'll keep going. Maybe I'll try and avoid those penguins. Maybe they're hurting me. So there's they... a number there, 62. Not sure what that is. Come on. Yeah, good job. Now I have 59. Oh, is it a countdown? Yeah, it's counting down now. I think you have to get back to that other guy. That makes sense. Okay, let's let's just mosey on back quickly. Mm 
for tickets. No. Penguins? Oh, I can't reach them. They're in the mm. air. Oh, there's a switch there. Oh, yeah. Okay. What was the switch? Flick the switch. This may control the direction of one or more signposts, barriers, or machines. You may need to investigate. Hmm. Well, I just flicked that. Hmm. Do you go down? Oh, that started working. No. Nope. Mm -hmm. You have collected the samurai bonus. This gives Bernard 10 seconds of whirlwind killing power. Or Rodney, 10 seconds of torch breath. Go get him, boys. Samurai Bernard. <gasps> oh, they're turning into monsters. Oh, so they get sucked in there and become monsters. Bizarre. Oh, and it's done. I don't understand what you're supposed to do. Or do you have to kill all the penguins? Six seconds? No. Maybe. Penguins? I don't understand. We have to smack all the penguins. No, it's still 46. Nothing Maybe there. I have to kill them. Does it hurt the penguins? I don't know. I don't think so. It, you can't kill them without a power up. Mm. Well, the number isn't counting down anymore. So yeah, but good. it's still. I would still go to the left and down. Here. Forty-three. No, I'm dead. I don't understand. Thirty. Oh my god! I can't move. Oh no! Oh, I can still smack, but I can't move. Twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four. Yeah, I don't know the purpose of this. <laughs> I think we're done. It's it's cute. And and perplexing. <laughs> yep. Yep. Are your hands clean They're from sufficiently grease? They're sufficiently clean. They're not to greasy. touch the very expensive controller. I needed a snack. Uh, next game is, when the time runs out, one second, Zoop, non-CD, from, now we've made it into 1996. January 5th, 1996, Zoop, released on a bunch of platforms, Genesis, Game Boy, Game Gear, Macintosh, MS-DOS, PlayStation, Saturn, Super NES, and Jaguar. Zoop is a puzzle video game. Mm. Um... Players are tasked with eliminating pieces that spawn from one of the sides of the screen before they reach the center of the playfield. Okay. By pointing at the piece and shooting it, the player can either swap it with the current player color, thus arrange the same color of pieces in a row or column, or match the color. Okay. So you're matching, you're replacing. Flipping. Flipping. I'm sure we will figure this out. Definitely stage one. Just <laughs> to figure it out. Okay, so we've got some things coming in. Oh, you're okay. You changed it. Oh, you absorbed it. Oh, I see. Oh, I bet you have to like change to it and then oh. attack one of the same. Like you've got a bunch of blue, and I get those. Oh. Try and get the blues now. And now you're purple. Try and get the purples. That's still not a whole. Try and roll. get the greens. See what happens. I get it. That's working. Now you're blue. Get the blues. Keep changing color. I don't. Get greens. Oh, I see. <clears throat> I get it now. Yes. I'm like, it's not. It's just columns, though, not rows. Why is that not? Rows, columns. Uh -huh. So when you're purple, go after purples. Now you're greens. There you go. What? What is going on? Oh, it just went up. I, I kind of get it now, but it's weird. You're not, because you keep changing color. You're blue. Get the blues. Get all the blues. There. Yeah, but it's not useful, so... Green! Ah! Switch to green! Quick, switch to green! Uh, okay. Get it more now. Good. The the rows the rows didn't make sense. I was trying to make a row, 
but it wasn't absorbing it. You have to be the color of what you're shooting. Mm -hmm. So I turned it all green, and initially I was like, shouldn't it be absorbing? Like I've changed it all to green. Oh no. That's not how it works. No, you, you, that you wasn't be, clear, be, is be, what I'm saying, oh. is it wasn't clear, and I was like, shouldn't I turn it all green and then it goes away? But no, you have to. If you're green, you shoot the greens. Yeah. And you can change to green by shooting a green thing. Columns in four directions. Yeah. Um, no, it's not. You have to be the color of what you're what you're shooting. Yeah. And I, when you I get switch, it. you actually switch the object. Thank you. Well, spring. Went up a level, I think. Oh, yep, yeah, level two. So it'll probably get faster and maybe introduce more colors. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Ah. One on the right's getting really, really, really close. Oh god. It's like a big mess, that one. Change the blue. Where is the top blue one there? Ah! Um. Uh oh, level three. Such a contrast, this game, <laughs> compared to all the other games, where it's like 3D and shooting, and this is like a puzzle game that could have been made on anything. Anything. It could have been made with ASCII graphics. Oh, I'm on, so confused. On any platform. This is so hard. <laughs> it's really interesting, though. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. To green. Turn to green. No, don't switch with green. Go pick up a green somewhere else. And then switch, shoot them. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh. oh, very nice. You can kill a whole row. Yeah. <laughs> purple, change to purple. No. Oh, ah, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm panicking now. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Yep. No. Oh my gosh. Ah. My goodness. It gets panicky. It's weird. It's weird. It's not just Collins. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. Different way of thinking about it. Yeah, it's weird because you, you add and then change color depending on what's behind the color. Yeah. yeah. It's an interesting concept because mm -hmm. it's different than Tetris or a columns game. Very different. Because you, yeah, you have to think about what's behind the color you're going for, yep. and then adapt to what that is. Yeah, it's better to get plain um, ones that have a bunch of three greens in a row or whatever mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. 
All done. I Good do game. like this one. Mm -hmm. Very nice. It's interesting. I want to play it more so that I get <laughs> the hang of it. Yeah. Next one is Fight for Life. Popcorn. Person. Exclusive to the Jaguar. Mm -hmm. Am I being too crunchy? I'm sure people are loving it. Uh, it's a 1996 fighting game. Yay. Um... <laughs> I love fighting games. Set in purgatory dimension known as the Spectre Zone, Fight for Life follows eight deceased fighters as they enter a tournament held by a shape-shifting being called the Gatekeeper. Mm. It's going to load. There we go. Uh, who will bestow a second chance at life to the winning victor. Uh, gameplay consists of one-on-one -on -one fights with a main eight-button configuration featuring special moves and ability to customize characters' movesets as well as four different player modes. Mortal Kombat clone, obviously, says Captain Classic. Yep. Uh, beginner mode sounds very good. Yep. Rolling camera? Sure. <laughs> oh, let's play two-player mode. Um, static? Oh, we'll try rolling camera. Okay, your hands clean? Yeah, clean okay. enough. No, are they clean? Yes, they're clean. <laughs> oh, shall I be? Jenny, Ian, Pog. Pog is a strange name, so we'll go for Pog. Mr. G. I am in blue and you have the boxing gloves so let's okay that's kick punch duck kick punch punch jump. oh jump is it's punch punch is oh uh, C if it's the same okay time to fight oh so much blood nope Oh, backwards jump. Oh, you got me. This is so unco- This is so chunky. It's very it's chunky. Slow, chunky, and slow. Very slow to react. Oh, it's so slow. Street People who play Street Fighter would hate this. It's so slow. These guys take like a whole second to turn around. Oh, we can jump backwards. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. This is not a good game. <laughs> See, can you hear how many times I'm hitting the button before he reacts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... It's like... Yeah, hold on. Stop. Stop for a second. Stop for a second. Okay. That's not too bad. It's when you're jumping around, you can't stop mid doing something. Like he has to follow through his whole thing. And and the whole sequence of moves is very slow. No sense of urgency whatsoever. No. Yeah. I I can appreciate the um cleanness of the screen. It only brings down your health when you get hit, which is a very interesting approach. Goodness. <laughs> so brutal. Oh, two combo. Oh, no. Nah, Pog's you're gonna, getting hit. You're getting me. That's okay. I'm already lo losing interest in this game. It's really slow. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it feels lethargic. It, like, wow. Hit the back of your head. No, he jumped out of the way. And the, the ability to hit each other is very poor. Like, Look at this. I'm off. The, I'm off. Oh, you can jump really far away. Oh, uh, you can't catch me. Come get me. 
You could run away from the other person. Of course, there's no time limit, so it'd be like, well, what's the point of running away? Oh, kicked you in midair. You you seem to jump further than me too, which was maybe just a characteristic of the. Yeah. Like you should make games that work within the limitations of the system. Like if your game is slowing down to a crawl or the reaction times are just abysmal, you should rethink your game and make it not so sluggish and terrible. If the look of the characters aren't aren't too bad. It's just the slowness Yay, of it. I'm dead. Not horrible, but the jumping is very tech and virtual oh. fighter where they don't want you to do air moves. You can do some. Like I've been able to hit hit Tanya well like when you jump you can press kick and it'll do a down kick. Like there, I I jumped in the air. Let's see if I can punch down. Yeah, yeah, you can punch down too. So it's not really preventing you from um doing mid-air moves. Oh my goodness. Uppercut. Come on, jump at me. Uppercut. Oh, you jumped right over me. Oh, the uh... Oh, keep jumping over me. Okay, you can try. I'll just stay here. Okay. I want to do an uh, uppercut while you jump on me, but there we go. Mm -hmm. So jump, jump towards me. Oh, oh jumped right over me. Oh, stop crawling backwards. What are you doing? Jump. Oh, I did bad timing. Oh, see, I should have connected there. Okay. Turn around. Is there any sound to this? It's no, it really just looks quiet. The hits. Oh, there's music. Oh, it's just so quiet in comparison to the games. symbol on the screen too oh that's from the your win oh because because okay. the for some reason the health bars they just dis disappear but the winds don't winds stay on the screen isn't that weird yeah that's a weird that's a choice yeah it is a choice. Uh, <laughs> like this little thing floating in the air turn around hi scissor kick Oh, are you stealing popcorn? <gasps> popcorn stealer. Oh, so polite. He takes one and then goes away. Doesn't just sit there and munch on them. Okay. Oh, no. Enough of that. The time is over. We can stop kicking and punching. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next game is NBA Jam Tournament Edition, uh, non-CD. January 15th, 1996. Mm -hmm. This is an arcade adaption. A lot of these are not. Super NES, Sega Genesis, Game Gear, Game Boy, Sega CD, 32X, Atari Jaguar, Sega Saturn, PlayStation, a basketball video game published by Midway for arcades in 1993. Uh, gameplay of NBA Jam is based on Arch Rivals, which was a two-on-two basketball game. However, this it was the release of NBA Jam that brought mainstream success to the genre. I think I probably have to turn this one down because the last one was so quiet. Release of NBA Jam popularized the subgenre of basketball games. Oh yeah, this one is quite loud. Which were based around fast, action-packed gameplay and exaggerated realism. Well, we'll see how fast-paced the action is on this. Head-to-head. -head. Uh, no. Do I get to play? Oh, I do. Where's Vancouver? No, there's no Vancouver. 
Where's Toronto? We had Grizzlies for a very, very brief period of time. For a blip. Uh, I'm gonna be, I don't know, Washington. Sure. Oh, did that work? Nope, it's A. Golden State Warriors, sure. Matchup Warrior versus Bullet. Hi. Supposed to be the best version of the game for home. Mm. Oh, wow. No, don't do that. Oh my god, their heads are huge. It's hilarious. Where am I? Okay. Wow, they're really weird looking. What am I doing? What are the what are the what are the buttons? I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Okay, don't move, don't move. Don't move. Okay. I'm the guys in white shirts. Yeah. You're blue. No, I figured that out. I couldn't. I was like, what's going on? That's pass. A is pass. Oh, I don't. I only control one. Well, yeah. Or do, can I switch? Um, I might switch. That's jump. That's Maybe. pass, jump, defend. Hey, 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 hey. No, Practice no. Practice your moves. <laughs> Shot clock violation. You, you, I, I won't do anything. You yeah. figure out what you need to. Because I have no idea what my buttons do yet. Because okay, so A is shoot. That's smack the other person. Damn it Wild shot. No good. Back to the moon. Yay. Smack. One Smack. To go. From downtown. No way. <laughs> what? Baby. Jammed it in. Hooray. <laughs> now that I've seen it, no, not the best version for home. It looks pretty good, but plays slower than PSX or at SNES. I mean, the speed is pretty good. Terrible. No. No, it's not terrible. Oh, smacked me. At the yeah, at the buzzer. Well, yeah, it was at the buzzer actually. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, pretty Interesting good. Interesting game. Yeah. Interesting game. Court awareness. D or C to swap. I don't care. I don't know these people. <laughs> oh, I guess they have speed and power and stealing. Dunking, blocking, passing. Hey. <laughs> oh, this the guy. This guy was at PRGE. Was he? The announcer of this of this game. I don't quite. What am I doing? he would say these things. I would hear it over his like uh, little speaker that he had. Boom shakalaka. And I would hear that all the time. Boom shakalaka. For two. Sweet touch. Point, score, point, score, point, score, point, score, point, score, point. It's it's a very uh, cooperative game where they um, take turns scoring points for two hours. <laughs> One minute to go. Into the hundreds of points. I can't. I don't control. Oh, what? You couldn't control that guy? No, you control one guy. Oh. You must be able to. I don't know. Switch up. Head fake. Head fake. Oh yeah. Head fake. I want to know the buttons to switch once. Yeah, he's not. I can't control him. 
only control. I yeah, there must be a switch. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, don't do anything yet. Okay. Oh. Oh, after. Yep. Tim Kitzrow, NBA Jam announcer. Mm. Yeah, that was the guy. That's the guy we saw. Hmm. Minute left. Okay, don't don't do anything. Try and swap. Oh, it automatically swapped to the other guy. What? Now it's swapped back now that he's on the screen. What the hell? I don't quite. Like you're not even playing against me on that on that shot. No. No. That's so, so wait. weird. B swaps. B swaps? Uh does it? No. A is defend and B is I'm still confused about the controls. Yeah. Jamie. Hi, popcorn stealer. Hey! Getting like at points at, at points neither of them are being controlled by me. No. Nope. Nope. You've had here. Let's go! Hey! Hey! Good job. Um, it it looks good and plays good. Mm-hmm. Don't quite get what's going on, but no. Uh, next one is Brain Dead 13 on okay. CD, March 1st, 1996. Uh, released on 3DO Interactive Multiplayer, Atari Jaguar CD, CDI, Macintosh, Microsoft Windows, PlayStation, Sega Saturn. Uh, it's an interactive movie game. Movie game. So, like the other ones. Is it a horror game? Brain Dead 13? Hmm. Unlike Dragon's Lair and Space Ace, which began as Laserdisc arcade games, it was only released for personal computers. In the game, the player assumes the role of a young computer expert, Lance Galahad, to defeat Dr. Neuro Neurosis mm -hmm. at his castle and his residence. Its gameplay is primarily presented through the use of full motion video. Mm -hmm. so it's going to be more like... Dragon's Lair? A movie. I died. <laughs> oh, do you, do you were playing? Yep. Oh my god. It is like Dragon Slayer. Mm -hmm. I had to pick a place. <laughs> Just throws you right into the game. Like you haven't pressed anything. No. Right? Crossroads there. Okay. So it doesn't prompt you. It doesn't say. It, it made a beep, I guess, right? Okay. It doesn't tell you when to press things. Just have to guess. Back from the dead. Oh. What? That's different. Oh, no. Maybe I didn't. No, no, no. It, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I just followed down that hall. Go away, kitties. No. <laughs> Something. <laughs> anything? It looked like it would have been a button. Maybe. Or maybe I go left or right right away? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, left or right. No. No. When ding, ding, I'm like, I don't know. Up. I guess infinite lives. Oh, oh, you went back. Okay. Maybe the wrong direction.
So in this one, you can actually go back to different places. I wonder if you do have a weapon. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I do. I don't think there's anything to hit. You it's just, just move dis out of the way? Brain Dead 13 is just a guessing game if you don't have the flash. If you don't have the flashes of Dragon's Lair Space Ace, yeah. There's no flashes. <sighs> Lots of different it's like It's like a continual lives. Yeah. Which is good for practicing. I, I've tried right many times, Captain Classic. <laughs> it's not right, whatever it is. Maybe we can. No, leave. I don't think it's right. Maybe we can <laughs> leave the room. Maybe that's yeah. like a dead end, that room. <laughs> nope. Okay. Sword? Uh, there's no sword. I've hit the button so many times. <laughs> Press up that last that, that time to yep. exit. Yeah. Maybe right top. Oh, there's another door on the right hand side. I know, but I've tried right many times. Uh, it's either forward, possibly. It seems to have infinite lives, though. That's good. Which is good. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nope. You did something, right? Down, down, up, down, up. You had a pillow. You had a weapon. Yeah. So maybe the button would work at that point. Down and then up. Or down and then <laughs> Nope. Down then button, maybe? Yeah. So you have your pillow in your hand, so I might act I'm as a weapon. I'm surprised I went through so many rooms so quickly. <laughs> but there's less action than Dragon's Lair. Dragon's yeah. Lair, it's like every room there's Death. action. Death at every corner and... Dragon Slayer. Oh, that did work. Dead. Oh. It goes da, da, dun. When it goes don't, you're about to die. So you got two of them with the pillow. Then you gotta get out of there because you Maybe. drop it accidentally. Wow. Nope, nope. Too fast? Not fast enough? <laughs> Yeah, down gets pillow, button, button, then right. That's what I'm guessing. That sounds cause, right. Because there's an open door on the right. But the timing is difficult, too. No! I waited. I think I, I have to wait longer. Wait? Yeah. Yeah. This is, these games are crazy. <laughs> they are... They're it like just, just because you can't really tell exactly when to do it. Yeah, there. Yeah, right. Nope. Oh, was no. not right. <laughs> oh no. Or I was too fast. Might have been left, too fast because you left, hadn't dropped the or pillow up. yet. I don't know. Do I drop the pillow? At the the at the the uh, earlier Late. time you did. Nope. Oh my god. You have to wait. Oh my, the timing. Yeah, the t yeah, the timing is the worst part. They need to give cool. you a visual audio indicator that you need to push the button now. Yeah, like, do something now. Bling! Or a little flash, or... There, you got it. No, I didn't. That's exactly what I did a previous time. Mm. Button, button, and then you have to go out? Or up, maybe? Yeah, it might be up. Oh my god. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> <laughs> and done. And done. <laughs> Next game is Breakout 2000, yeah. December 6th, an exclusive uh, 1996 action video game. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the last officially licensed releases for the platform. Mm. Featuring a similar premise, the player must destroy a layer of bricks. Lines by repeatedly bouncing a ball. I'm so bad this. at these games. They're so much fun, but I'm so bad at them. I will play this one. Okay, then. you love this game. You love um, this. I 
You're don't, pretty good at them. I don't hate this game. Yeah. This type of game. Who is it all? All 3D, 3D and perspective. And hard to tell what's going on because they've made it 3D. Mm. All right, breakout 2000. Everything was called 2000. From 1996. As soon as 2000 hit, no. Nope. No one ever mentioned 2000 ever again. No. Okay, what do we want? Normal? Yes. No skill level. No skill level. None. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, I see. Normal. Oh, is this two player? No. no. Computer? Normal. I have no idea what's going on. Novice? Like. I don't know. Oh my goodness, it is 3D. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what are they doing? People are trying to get way too... Way too Creative fancy. with this. Oh my goodness. They're just making like it harder. Like forced perspective. <laughs> Silliness. Yep, just like the other ones. Defender and... Uh, what was it? Let's see if we can stretch this concept then. <laughs> yep. Let's change the dimensions. Like newer remakes or reimagining games, they actually do a pretty good job, but this era of redoing games... Well, they're just trying to find something new? Like, they're they're it's just... 3D! Yeah, it doesn't... Yay! I passed a level. Let's make it look at, like they're on the alien spaceship. Hey, Lily Aloud, welcome! Yes. <laughs> needs, a, needs a spinner. That would help. I mean, the, the joystick's yeah. fine. Yeah, not an improvement. No. 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 Downgrade. 3D does not make everything better. No. It's 3D. I do feel like this was almost an era for game developers to just test out things. Yeah. What works? What doesn't Some, work? The th when things didn't work well, they were like, ugh, they were pretty bad, but it was probably a precursor to something else. Do you know? Yeah. Maybe I'm giving them too much credit. But no, I I, it's, it's... I do feel like this was an era of experimentation with like 3D effects. First gens of 3D. Yeah. And they're like, we don't know how this works or how cameras work it, in 3D. or Everything how... evolved from <laughs> these games, like from yeah. the... What is it? It's the newer Mario 3D World games, you know, yep. that are amazing now. Oh, all evolved unbelievable. from you they, know they had these to start types somewhere. Of concepts, so yep. it's very cool. But yeah, no, this this is not the game Breakout needed. <laughs> it's not as good. I feel like I'm playing table tennis. <laughs> yes. Yep. And there's cups it's on like, the table. No, yep. no, stay up there. Get up there. Oh. Robots are throwing down things, and I. Those are your power-ups, I think. Yeah, I haven't gotten any good power-ups. They don't seem to extend my paddle, or give me no. lasers, or, or slow freeze. the ball down, yeah. or give me multi-ball. It changed the look of my paddle. It's interesting that your paddle is like a screen. Yeah. A bouncing screen. It's very strange. Yes, the biggest mistake on this game design is that 75% of the screen isn't even being used. Yeah, it's totally wasted. Like the upper part of the screen, it's like you're in a big hollow chamber. Yeah, they could have made it not as <sighs> low down, made it like still 3D, but tilted Maybe it tilted up a bit even more, yeah. And use more of the screen. It's very interesting. It looks like 2D for us to look 3D, <laughs> yeah. correct? Yeah. <laughs> Even though it, I think it is actually 3D. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my oh. god, it's so low down. You have to stay very close. Oh my god. Yeah, you get up. Stay up there. Okay, change the look of it. Is it, is it slowing it down? Did it slow uh, it down a little? say so no? not appreciably and the cats are back i think i'd rather play breakout on any other system <laughs> a 2d breakout than this it just doesn't it it doesn't add it takes away yeah blocks are probably real 3d but it's hard to tell since they never move <laughs> yeah it is hard to tell well, they kind of look like they would be 3d they don't need to be because they don't move they can just be 
made to look like 3D based on the distance from you they are. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost got it. Okay, oh, get down it over there. Come on, get over there. Now a little touch there. No! Oh, you stay over there. Get, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, one more. Come on. No. Oh my god. The last one in Breakout is always so hard to hit. I swear it has like a reverse magnet on it so that your ball just goes right past. <laughs> okay, I gotta get it up that up that. Let's see if I can. Where's my ball? You, you, you don't even get it. to see it. You release it, right? Yes! Yeah, good job! Oh, stay oh, up there! Oh. Stay up there! Nice! Yeah! Do oh, it! Couldn't have asked for a better hit. Yeah, you gotta start it off well. You seem to be picking up the 3D um, it's fine. dimensions just fine. I'm really just looking at the ball and making sure I don't miss it. Oh, changed its color. I don't know what that means. It still doesn't seem to do anything. Ooh, oh, it's going it breaks through it. Through. Oh, oh, game over. 52 seconds. Well, nope. good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, Original breakout is better on the 2600 when it hits the top of the screen and speeds up a lot. Yes. Super breakout also had lots of different games. Ooh, yes. Continuous march towards the you. Multi marching's ball. awesome. There's no multi ball nope. at all. Mm. Cats, what are you doing? Don't injure your brother. Oh. Rub. Rub instead of delete. Funny. Yeah. Rub, like as in rubbing an eraser. Yeah, it was used on that arcade term. games. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next one, because we don't have time to start a new one. Okay. Is if Towers 2 Plate of the Stargazer, mm. which I think was recently re released uh, and updated for the Jaguar. Um, uh, released on the Atari Falcon, Atari Jaguar, and Windows is a first-person role-playing video game. Role RPG. Yeah. Um, set several months after the events of the original game, the story follows the original crew of four adventurers from the previous title. After landing at Lemini, were now tasked by people of the island to send one of their crew to stop Lord Dagon inside his mm -hmm. tower. After being enraged with the questioning of his doings. Okay, well, we'll see how easy this is to play without knowing anything about it. Ultima Underworld-like. Oh, okay. The original breakout didn't even have a CPU. It just a bunch of TTL logic, which blows my mind. Oh, accept it. Max strength. You had a 20 strength. Oh, that's not too bad if you want to be a warrior. <laughs> yeah, let's just accept. All you're getting is other scores, so. Hmm. There's your cursor. Okay. Can pick up things. What am I? What? What, what is going on? Oh, it's actual 3D. I thought it was going to be turn like um, tile-based movement. Oof, that's a funny, funny fist. <laughs> it's very flat. You can't remember any words. Gotcha. A little uh, chest there. Box. Uh, walking over it doesn't get it. Maybe I have to punch, punch the box. Oh, or pick it up. Yeah. Oh. Backpack. Okay. You can put in your inventory. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Must have worked. No. Oh, no. 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 Oh, there's four things there. Kind of fits. There we go. Okay. What is it? Oh, it's a backpack. Backpack. Okay. Getting this. So, A swaps between walking, fighting mode. Right. 
and picking up and interacting and inventory. on. Inventory, yeah. And then C is words that apparently I can't remember. Maybe it's a spell, casting spells. This is pretty rough. Kind of like Wolfenstein, but with more detail. Yeah, yeah. it really reminded me of Wolfenstein. They might have probably using a very similar engine. This is really weird. The walking. Yeah. Thankfully, there's no enemies immediately. <laughs> no, I, there's obviously a little you bit have of a no tutorial weapons. level. Surprised I'm not on a cart coming from a prison. <laughs> then a dragon attacks a town. And then you get off the cart. You get beheaded, but saved at the last time in the chaos. Oh, uh oh, punch, punch the janitor. a mop like seriously he looks like he has a mop maybe he's, you? maybe he is the janitor he didn't attack you punch him i can't remember any words that's bizarre that's where he came from i think Is that where I came from? I think so. No, I don't think so. No? Is it? I think I've gone around a room, but there's like a bunch of these. Oh. Maybe you punch the door? Door's locked. Okay, so that is trying to open the door. You did you did pick on Yeah. So you need some keys. I need some stuff. You cannot remember any words. Sounds like what happens when you press the spell button, but don't any spells in. Oh, ah! Punch him! Punch him in his head! <clears throat> oh, no. Oh, you got him. Oh, God. Oh, God, run away! <laughs> Not into no. the door! No! Oh, my God. Controlling this thing is hard! <clears throat> I. It's so hard. <laughs> he just overcompensates. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there is a bad guy. That janitor doesn't look appear to be any... He's just walking around with a mop. That's terrible. There must be a weapon for me to find. Because yeah. I can't see myself just punching. Oh, he's got a little ball. Does he have a ball? Yeah. Who is a ball? Do you have a ball? Do you have a ball? Did yeah. you bring your ball in? No, he didn't bring it in. No? Got distracted. Come, sweetie. Uh, he was batting it around. Let's see. Now there's the backpack. Okay. There we go. Probably pick up the backpack. The movement is a little weird. Yeah, you likely need to find a weapon in the same area as the janitor. Yeah, like in this opening area, there's got to be a weapon here somewhere. Like in this big open space before you start going down halls. Yeah. Is that a bad guy? That's the bad guy. Is it? Oh. No, that's a janitor. Oh, oh you're getting behind me. He's fighting you now. Hopefully, I can. Uh, I'm a fast runner. Oh. Oh, apples. I'm a pretty fast runner. Good. <clears throat> nope, he's behind you. He's hitting you. <clears throat> you're dying. You're almost dead. <clears throat> yep, dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you lasted even less time than me. No it's, weapons. You probably want to go into that area if you can figure out where that was. Yeah. Presents! Skip, skip. The light of the staircase. Skip. Skip. Yep. Accept. Get into it. Forget the backpack. We need no, you need, you need the backpack. Yeah? Just get so. it right away. No, there's nothing there to hurt you. I think it's to the right. Yeah? Okay. You can get a mop off the janitor. Okay. <laughs> really? Do you fight the janitor? Did you ask him nicely for the mop? Don't go that way. That's where the guy was. You want to go to the right? Oh, you've totally turned turn, to right. totally turn around now. This is to the right. No right from where you were there excellent okay there's got to be stuff here hey moldy up. cheese 
There's a there's a um, note there. I'm not getting notes. Oh, it is cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of cheese in the backpack. Good to go. Is that a? So is that? Oh, I need your weapon. Give me your mop. Hello. Can you take his mop? Or can you do you fight him? No, I don't want to fight him. Uh, you might have to. to. Talk to him. Hey, hey. There's a bad guy. Greetings. Good day. No, come back here. Give me your mop. You fight him. You fight him with your mop. Okay, they're gone. Um, <laughs> it, it, the, the engine seems fine. <laughs> the mop of cleansing can be used against the enemies until you kill mop one and get a of sword cleansing. off of them. That is so funny. Um, the engine seems fine, like moving around and like the inventory. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. For that era. That's funny. Um, Next. World Tour Racing on CD. So you're in the right direction. Oh. World Tour Racing is a Formula One racing <laughs> Formula One racing video game. In the game, players must compete against other racers across multiple tracks on various regions and countries around the world to finish uh, in first place and advance to the next course. Mm. So racing. <laughs> Maybe it's two player. Maybe it's not. Pre-rendered video. Nineteen ninety-six. Ninety-six. Uh, well, this actually came out June second, nineteen ninety-seven. How embarrassing! <laughs> it was obviously completely finished, mm. shelved, and then. They didn't have any time to update the date. <laughs> oh, oh, looks like it might have decent frame rate there. Unless that was a pre-recorded video. Oh my god, the loading. This is slow. Imagine on CD, the loading times of these is games. Is it even working? It may have crashed. It's it possible. may have crashed. Yeah, the CD games aren't working that well, so. We'll see. I think it's crashed. It's no virtual racing. No. <laughs> it's no virtual racing. Uh, mm. Yeah, this one might be not nope. working. We'll give it one more go. Yep. And then... Here. <laughs> what was it called? For, for a, no, I almost said virtual, virtual racing. racing. World, world, world Tour, Tour racing. racing. Okay. World Tour Racing. Da, 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 da. Skip all the... Intros. Yep. Oh, it's different. Okay. Yep. So many intros. You've seen that. And this is where it crashed before. No. This one is not in the cards. We are going to go to the next one called Air Cars. Air Cars. More cars? Yeah, more cars. 1997 Shooter. Mm. Air Cars. Mm. Doesn't sound like a shooter. No, that really doesn't sound like a shooter. <laughs> Sounds like a racing game. Cars? And maybe they're uh, floating on air? Like maybe. hover cars? Maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Um, Aftermarket. One of the officially licensed releases for the platform. A government uh, game follows a government pilot controlling an air car to stop the E B N E R S organization, which oh. plans to dominate the post-apocalyptic world left by a nuclear holocaust. The okay. player fights against enemies and bosses while shooting down key targets across 32 missions set in various locations. Two players can also play the main campaign. Oh my god! Sorry about your ears. Every game is a different volume. It's a different volume. There's no standards whatsoever. <laughs> uh, up to eight players can play in a deathmatch mode. I'm guessing that's by connecting up mm. multiple Jaguars. Stay loud. What? Why is it playing this again? Let's get past this. We know. Two single player serial. No, we I can't just play single player. We can't play multiple player. No. Uh, let's make it very easy. Wimpy. Wimpy. Uh, shh. Pro seven. Did I just miss virtual racing? No. <laughs> oh. My World God. tour racing and it didn't load, so you didn't miss uh, virtual racing. Pro seven. Thank you for joining. The menu cancels out. What? Air B just. 
A or B one complete? My name is your name. Uh, That's fair. Uh, yeah. A or uh, B to start? Sounds good. Control tower, radio station, satellite dish, primary targets. Okay. Well, we're taking out their uh, communications. Well. Okay. Forward. Back. It's a hovercraft. Yep. Yeah, I told you. I told you it was a hovercraft. Hovercraft. It's not what I think of as There's something shooter. red at oh, the bottom yes, to your left. Get He's not. coming for you. Oh, he is. Let yeah. me see. Oh. Oh, it's a tree. Nope. No, it's, nope, it's a car. Tree. He's right on you. Tank. Target destroyed. <gasps> Target, Target destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> uh, that's not one of my targets. Isn't it? No. That is. Oh my that God. is. Oh. Those oh, are all targets. Oh, I think okay. those blue things are your targets. See how hardy they are. Ooh, target destroyed. destroyed. Is this building my target? Destroyed. Target destroyed. <laughs> I'm just going to say that all day now. Target destroyed. <laughs> Good job. Great job. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Oh, you, you can kill the trees. Oh, poor trees. So your radar is really oh, zoomed in. Oh, smackety smackety oh, trees. Sorry. I'm looking at my radar. Oh, there's a bad guy. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Thankfully, they have very. Oh my poor. god. Oh, oh, I'm on a hill. He's really coming after you. Ooh, he is relentless. Oh no! Oh, he's up in a cloud of smoke. Oh, he's retreating. Whoa! Whoa! <gasps> oh! He's like, ah! Target take, destroyed. Target destroyed. I'm going to take you out with me. Okay, one more. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I have infinite ammo. No, I do not. This is my last target. I hope it so. is. Target oh. destroyed. Target destroyed. That's so funny. Oh. Oh, I ran into the sign. Oh, no, there's more targets. <laughs> Guessing Atari didn't have a playtesting group. That target destroyed would grate your no no nerves after the third time it said it. Target destroyed. Yeah, no variations. <laughs> it's wonderful. At least come up with a couple of a couple of sayings. Yeah, no kidding. That's so funny. Or great job. Good shooting. Oh, I am out of ammo. Are you? No, you still, oh. you still have 195. Oh. I have different ammo. Yep. I have a shotgun. Okay. Target destroy. I can destroy things with a shotgun. <laughs> Those were rotofoils. PS1 got Ball Blazer X after Lucasfilm saw how well received Battlesport was on the 3DO. That's so funny. Oh, there's another one. Mm -hmm. Get that blue one. It's a very big area. It's massive. And. I'll kill this target and then we will switch. Target destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> At least MechWarrior only said critical hit every once in a while. Yeah. yeah, you don't need to say it every time. That's so funny. Uh, next one, we're down to the last few, uh, is 05 non CD. 05 is a shooter video game developed by Caspian Software. Uh, set in the year 2050 and featuring completely different gameplay structure compared to the original title, which we did not play. Uh, the player assumes, or assumes the role Zero of a five. Uh, recruited space hound by DEFCON to take command of both of the Bam Bam space fighter craft and hit pack space cruiser, an attempt to defend Earth and counterattack against invading forces of the Morphin alien race. Oh my God, all these names. <laughs> Mighty Morphin <laughs> Power Rangers. Yeah. Before they reach uh, the planet and eradicate the human race. Well, that's a cool logo. That is a cool logo. Conceived. Uh, okay, good. Uh, that's all the information I have. B to play mission one. Do it. Good music. Oh, so much on the screen. Oh, not expert, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. You could set the bass and treble? 
Oh my god. Mission one. Well, if you want to do multiple missions, I'm I'm in I'm in the options. Oh, you're. In... Oh, you are. How do I get out of here? See. Okay. How do I get back? Why don't okay. you pick? Oh, there you go. Oh no. <laughs> B to play mission one. We took up half the ROM space with this voice sample. We're going to use it, damn yeah. it! <laughs> yeah. right. Over and over. They're very proud of that voice sample. Defcon. The visuals are very impressive in they the menus, are actually. at least. Oh, that's nice. See, that looks if you go too. simplistic yeah. and clean, you can get high frame rates and look nice. You don't have to go for realism when you can't achieve it at yeah. 30 frames a second. Minimum. Take control. See, that looks great. Oh, look. Let's look how fast you can move. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. What's Crazy. going on? What is happening? <laughs> You're, like, jammed up against them. Oh, my God. This is so hard to control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going around in circles. Turn this way. Is anything hitting anything? Yep, yep, now you are. Wow, what a, a weird perspective. Ah! You're like, enemy in your face immediately. And this is not a... See, this is what I ah, think of as a way. shooter. Except the enemies are like, so close to you, they're touching your weapons. Oh, this needs auto, auto fire. Ah! It this is that. so hard to control. I don't know what it is. I'm like going around in circles. I'm just not used to these 3D perspectives. There we go. It requires a soft touch, these games. Now this is wow. definitely 3D because you are like shooting all over the place. Oh right? my god. Yes. There's many, many options of directions to shoot. Well, you're getting more accurate as no, time goes on. No, it's not. It feels like it's getting worse, not better. Dan says, love this game. It's Captain, really cool. Captain Classic says, weird perspective. It is yeah. a weird perspective. I'm... Super weird perspective. Oh. Very sensitive to movement. So, right? so tight. Like I was just going up by like a tiny little bit each way. There we go. Yay! Yay! Oh, you're still oh. playing. Oh, what? This is better perspective. No, it is not. It's even harder. No! <laughs> it's coming up from behind. It, I feel like this is a test. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, can you... How is your three-dimensional perspective? <laughs> yes. Like, it's like, oh gosh. Ah! I, I don't... Like, what is going on here? Oh, almost I out can't. of field. Oh my god! It is like a test. Oh my god. This is so hard. The perspective is so, so challenging. Oh my god. Your turn. <laughs> wow, your it's really cool though. How's your spatial awareness? Exactly. Okay, are you facing <laughs> up? Are you going backwards, Whoa. forward, side, side? It's like getting dizzy. It's cool though. It's very cool. Let's do it. You'll kick my ass on this end. Well, we'll see. That was very weird looking. I'm sure you'll... Take control. Take control. Well, we'll see. Okay, up, down. You'll, you'll adjust to it a little better. I'm going to get power-ups. It's kind of like a shooter. It except, is. Except, yeah, because these things come in formation. Mm -hmm. It's just r much harder because you can't aim properly. No, the aiming is very, very strange. Instead of a two-dimensional shooter, it's a three-dimensional mm -hmm. shooter because they come in waves. You're just, you're just pointing. And they also come in patterns, yep. and they move in patterns. And if you stay in one spot, 
and You're just okay shoot. For a while. You can get it. Then there's power-ups that come directly for you. Okay. I'm getting it. Yeah, you have to find the spot where they kind of... Yeah. See, those those got a, those are... Oh, you got them. Good. Yeah, I don't know if I'm loving it. No, it's very awkward. It's super weird and awkward. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so hard to... Gamadev says, I would have mm. settled for a version of iRobot since it was awesome in the arcade in the arcade game that never got a port to any platform. Interesting. Ah. Captain Classic gets no Colony Wars or even Star Raiders. The enemies don't seem to fly in space like you would expect. No, they don't. They just sort of come out and follow you. Yeah, they they come out and then they hover near you. Mm -hmm. And then once in a while they shoot at you. This mm -hmm. part is... Oh, it's so hard. Insane. Like, how do you even... Like, yeah, I, can't... I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't get my perspective right to shoot a single one God. of them. So hard. It's so hard. Ah! Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're still controlling the ship the same way? Yeah. Like, left and left is right is Ooh. right? Yeah! It's very hard. Like... And since it's in space, there's no shadows to help you out? Like, mm -hmm. where they are and where you are? Like, what? what is this nonsense? You have to shoot at the screen. Like, at yourself. And this is novice. <laughs> This is it's level mode. one. Oh, the controls are nightmare, nightmarish. Uh, I think we're done. Yeah. <laughs> I. It's neat. I it like, is neat. I love the look of it. Mm -hmm. The controls are nightmarish. Mm -hmm. They're so weird. I can see people liking it for the challenge of doing it, yeah. but it's, it while, is weird. You would get used to the controls. Mm -hmm. Like you go, okay, now I'm facing towards me. Left is right, and right is left. Um, oh, on the back, uh, Iron Soldier 2, an exclusive. Not CD. Not CD. It's an open world first person mecha simulator video game. Mecha. Now we, now we did play the first Iron Soldier, mm -hmm. um, which was kind of fun. You stomped around in your mech robot. And your, so we'll see what this is like. Set after the events of the first game, players assume the role of the elite defense pilot taking control of the titular mech in order to complete tasks and protect areas that conforms mm -hmm. to United Republic from attacks of the pentacorporate. This is all just nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Not a traditional shooter. It's like the developers had a cool tech demo of moving the camera around the ship and try to shove a game around that. Absolutely. It, it totally feels like that. It's like, here's our ship. Here is space. You maneuver the ship left, right, up, down. Your perspective is always from the ship's perspective, not the player's perspective, which makes it so hard. You've got three things mounted already. I think you're probably fine. Or no. Oh, you have, you've got one thing mounted on yourself. So B to mount that. Oh, you've already got one thing mounted, which is probably the right thing. I would that's go to on hip? Oh, that's on my hip. A chainsaw? It can probably only get a gun or a chainsaw. Get to the game. You got a gun. Do it. There we go. Sure. I know it, you'll probably control it a little better than me, so. This looks just. All like... of these games are 3D games. Yeah. All of them. How do I move forward? Do you have to oh, hold there a we button? go. Now I remember. You have to hold down a button okay. to get into move mode. There good we go. job, good job. Ah, smush. Walk him. Smush, smush, smush. You can smush. Did I smush him? I don't I don't think so. But... Oh, the turning is very mm, slow. Very slow. Okay. Let's... Iron Soldier 2 came out in December 97. Mech Warrior 2 was April 97. Oh. So this came out after Mech Warrior 2. Mmm. <laughs> Euro demo shooter? <laughs> Says Gamma Dad. I seem to remember mm. Mech Warrior being a lot better. Mm. For the last one. Euro demo shooter. <laughs> Euro demo shooter. Okay. Now, 
there is objectives in this game to like not just blow up tanks. You no, have to, you some, have to go some destroy in, something. Destroy an industrial plant or something. Oh, okay. That looks like an industrial plant. That looks like a plant. No. Oh, okay. Nice. Pretty good. Hi, Cyrano. We're still hey, going. Cyrano. We're down to the last couple of games, last I think. Last two. It's the second to last one. <laughs> yes. Is that not the industrial plant? It sure looks like it. Maybe these things. Oh, destroy it. Just destroy it all. I'm stuck in a building. Oh, you're running out of Come power? On. There we go. Something's... Oh, I see. You're getting well, injured. All the story houses, then. <gasps> <laughs> Poor houses. Winning hearts and minds. <laughs> Captain Classic. This isn't bad, but I would prefer Mech Warrior 2. <laughs> More fun fighting giant mechs rather than tanks and helicopters. Yeah. Mechs against mechs is a mechs. lot more fun. Mech v mech. I, I do remember my friends playing a lot of <laughs> Mech Warrior. Gamma Dev says, war crime game over. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh, let's shoot that. No more water for you, city. Or whatever that is. Okay. Oh, no, I did get it. Oh, jets. That one, the first game didn't have that. At least in the levels we played. I think you're getting hit by oh, something. Oh, my God. We got to take this out immediately. There you go. That was damaging me a lot. Oh, can this guy rust in water? Or is he okay in water? Maybe I can hide under the water. You're getting in injured? Oh, my God. That's shooting me from very far away. Whoa. What was that? Dangerously. Dan yeah. Oh, you're dead. Quick, let's go in the water. Oh, how am I supposed to defend myself against that guy? I think you... Who's so far away. Oh, I oh, got, you him. got him. Oh, my God, you have no energy left. You're dead. Something's coming for you. I need to take a dip in the ocean. I can't walk in it. That's what's going on. Oh, yeah, you're dead, dead. Oh, so dead. Uh, uh, oh, oh, everything goes black. That's nice. That's I, nice That effect. is kind of neat. Yes, continue. got back home. Uh, oh, yeah, let's go to that one. It's by the ocean. Do I have to shoot? Uh, destroy all buildings. Sure. I can destroy all buildings. I... All buildings? All the buildings? Which buildings? Ah! Oh, oh my god! Geez. Run! Oh, A lot of destroying stuff. Oh, oh, Something's hitting you. Maybe I shouldn't walk in the water? I don't know. Yeah. Let's go this way. Go around this building. Don't you have to destroy all buildings? Uh, there's a lot of buildings. I think it's very specific buildings. Let's try and destroy this one. No. Hmm? That Whatever that is, that's gotta be bad. Yeah, that looks um. like it. Turret. Yeah. Oh my God. It's got two rockets. There, I got one. Oh, so. there's another one. Good job. Thank you. Those look like things I need to destroy. Nice. Those are the helicopters that keep crashing in real life. I guess this one was in development and the devs tried to make some of their investment back. I think the JAG was discontinued in December 96. Yes, this came out after. Yeah, these are post-JAG. I think there's Jag. About five, oh, six get Jaguar games that came out after. Nice. nice. I think it's these things I need to destroy. Dangerously low energy, so you're being injured by something? I'm constantly Oh, shot. you're so close to them. They're ki Oh, that thing's killing you. Oh, that gave you energy. That mech, you need to... Oh, there's a mech in this! Must destroy enemy mech. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, why didn't you keep firing at me? You're a fool. Oh, oh no. Okay. Good job. Yeah, Good that's, job. that's a not bad game, actually. I, I mean, <laughs> I like the first one, too. Um, This came out on... 
cartridge and CD. Okay. We played the cartridge version, okay. which is probably safer to make work. Actually, most of the CD games did work to some extent. There's only a couple. The last game is Worms, which we can play together. Yay, Worms! Uh, it came out on everything. Uh, it came out on May 15th, 1998, and was the last retail release for the Jaguar. Okay. Ex it says... Ex no, I did that wrong. Um, 2D artillery tactical video game developed by Team 17, released in 1995. Well, originally. Mm. Um, first game in the Worms series of video games, which is a very successful line of video games because it's super cute. The first? Well, this is Worms, the original. There's okay. more Worms. But this it didn't first come out on the Jaguar. No, no, it didn't. Okay. It came out three years previous to this. Okay, okay. Because um, I remember playing Worms on PC quite a bit. There we go. Let's do it. Uh, go to options, just in case, uh, game options, in case this is where there's two player. Oh, no, just exit. No, 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 we don't need any of this. Let's get to the game. Exit. Uh, play game. Team entry? Uh, no. Let's try just play game and then see if it's... There we... Teams to compete. So go to team one. Oh, team. One up, and then two up. Yes, one up, one up. That's you, one up. And I'm two up. There we go, start. This might be just a one-on-one. -on -one. Worms Armageddon was the best version. Mm. Ninja Rope. I guess this was in development. The devs tried to make some of their investment back. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So select new start equals play. Yeah, we'll do this one. Start. Oh, there's no start. One. Generating landscape. I pick landscape one. Reticulating splines. <laughs> Reticulating splines? Oh. Yeah. Hi, baby cat. Oh, no. Uh, what? What is start? You pick, press the button that you didn't just press. B? Try A. There we go. Ginger. So, up, down. Wait, but can I... This is all I get to see? Um, buttons might be able to let you move across. Oh my god. So you have a bazooka right now. Well, you did shoot the other guy and took yourself out You have to hold it? I'm not sure of the controls just yet. Oh, that's you. Oh, it's not me. It's still you. What? I'm very confused. Up and down aims. Yeah. Left and right moves. Holding down the button gives you power. <laughs> That's on the moon. But I don't know. I don't know my how big the world is. How are you supposed to know the the size of it? Weird. So I can go like this. Oh, good shot. But who am I? Am I just fighting both sides? Yeah, because it's all... One up... I guess you... you Okay, yeah. Who's you can play now? this one. I mean, you've lost a few people, but... We just sw swap back and forth, I guess. Oh, no. What? Was there explosive? Did I miss a mine? No, you There's shot yourself. There's a mine yourself. on that tree. No, I didn't press any buttons. My turn. Okay, that's the way to do it. You have four worms per team. Okay. How do we know who's who? The it's second joystick weird. doesn't work either. It's all no, one there's, joystick. No, it's, it's just passing. Oh. Bye-bye, Wormy. Mm -hmm. Ginger is an X-worm. Why doesn't it say player two's turn or something on the screen? Weapon drop? Like, is this player two? This is you. Player one's know? on one side, player two's on the other. It's very bizarre. Are you sure? Yes. It just keeps going back and forth. Oh, how did you do that? C. Hold C and you can see this. Oh, okay. I'm like, that's what I was trying to say. How, how right. do you see the size of the world? I didn't know that. So now is it... My turn. Tanya's? Oh, is there gold and silver? 
Is that how it works? Because the teams. Right now you're controlling a silver Maybe. player. Oh, way too far. So I'll play gold players. There we go. You play silver. You just played a silver. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Not very obvious. And also the score is white off is the one screen. team, yellow is the other. Uh, okay. Now we're getting some. Not the best color choices, no. No. I gotcha. You die gonna die? No! A lot of lot of um That's a pit. Uh oh. I'm floating in midair. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Am I gonna survive that? <gasps> I did! How? <laughs> Oh. Direct hit. Still, these worms are very resilient. Extremely resilient. 50. Smidge's turn. And he was just six days from retirement. Oh. Oh, you shot yourself. That's. No, not... I shot you. Rusty. Oh. Oops. I get it now. Hmm. I can't get out of this. Mm hmm. I have to go up. Isn't there like jumping and stuff in this game? Mm. Other weapons? See? Can you not crawl up there? I guess not. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. That was the wrong button. <laughs> oh, poor Clanger. He's an X worm. Oh no. I think you should be able to change weapons yeah, somehow. We, we may not have any weapons except for the bazooka right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe A changes weapons? I just tried all the numbers and it doesn't do anything. Might be option. So you hold C? That's how yeah. you see. Oh, I just jumped in the water! <laughs> no. A is how you jump. Oh, okay. Mm. But now we know. Yep. Okay. Not how you change weapons. No, it's how you jump. Okay, that's too far. So I'm going after Smidge. Smidge which is, is all that's left. Very yeah. dangerous to do, but. Oh, no. And done, but you can get your shot on. Oh, so overshot. No, we're going to play it till the end. Till this the is end? the last game. True. So you, you got Smidge. Smidges can get Rusty. You're not going after Rusty. Oh. Hmm. That's, oh, yeah, Jasper's still Jasper. down there. What is Jasper going to do? Let's see. Oh, there we go. How did you Option. do that? Options. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, oh, what is that? Homing, Homing missile. missile. That sounds nice. That makes sense. Homing missile. Did that not work? Yeah, just shoot it. Oh, wow. Oh. Still oh. alive. Barely. Oh, smidge. So. Yeah, it was under options to pick. Now, you're very close to me, so... Mm -hmm. Uzi might be good because it won't explode. Dynamite will explode. You can plant a mine. Airstrike's not a good idea. Well, you can teleport away, but I would shoot because you're right next to me. Oh, more weapons? Yeah. Might be healing. <laughs> See, it's such a cute game. One helming mm. missile. Yeah. Where are you? There you are. I'm coming to get you, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get another shot at me. Yes, I will. Oh, defaults to bazooka each time, so. Ooh. Ooh, don't move. Oh my god. Not enough power. I, I, I hit it instead of held it. Goodbye, Smidge. Smidge is on, on their way out. Oh. oh, okay, weapon drop. Why is the top of the screen cut off? That's very strange. That is strange. And the bottom, too. Yes? What would you like? Cuddles? Oh, oh, oh. oh, it's past dinner. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is. Smidge gets another turn. 
Oh, baby, I know you're hungry. Soon. We're almost done. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No, too much. Too much. Jasper. Careful. Oh, don't get rusty. Oh, wow, that was really close. That was really close. Oh, oh. Not dead yet. Oops. Mine? Well, I wasn't even close to the mine. Oh, you were close. Dead! Oh, <laughs> bye, Rusty. Oh, X explosion. Smidge has a good shot at Noggin there. Does she? Well, you There's might like have to a lob tree. it a little bit. Oh, oh. oh, just overshot it. Almost a Jasper down there. <coughs> oh. oh! Was it Is enough? She dead? Oh. Yeah, it was. Smidge is dead. X-Worm. Bye-bye. One's ups team is no more. Very cute. Very cute. I do like that one. I, Worms is a great game. It is. Easy to play, too. So let's uh, ch go through all the games and uh, mm -hmm. say what we think about all the games. Oh, my goodness. Lots of games. Yep, if we can remember. Yes. Um, Baldi's. Looks good. We didn't play it enough to evaluate it. Couldn't so quite figure it out. I'm I not going to give it a rating, but it looked, looked, it looked like good. It, could it be could. good. Like a, yeah. Yeah. Good world building game. Yeah. Um, Battle Morph. I don't remember don't what that was that now. Defender 2000. Boo. That was so zoomed in and un really unable to hard control to play. It. it was very hard. Space Ace and Dragon Slayer, uh, pretty much unplayable. <laughs> In, in the way that in, in this format it may have been they're cool but because it was emulating cd oh yeah it, it didn't unfortunately didn't quite but work, if it but plays like the arcade then that it looks they're fine. challenging games it looks fine very challenging games missile command 3d another kind of failure ish i'd give it a mid because it was way zoomed in again it, that that's very strange yeah, yeah. It makes it hard to play uh, Mist, you have to comment on this. How um, was the representation on the Jaguar of Mist? It, it was good. I mean, it looked rougher than I remember it, but it was a long time ago that I played Mist. So a little bit rougher than a PC. Than a PC. The yeah. PC was better for sure, but um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, Battle Morph was the Cyber Morph sequel. Tanya had issues picking up the paper things. Paper things. Oh, well, you played too. You ran around, there's a white sheet, and then you have to run into it. And oh. Yeah, eh, meh, eh, meh, 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 in the trench. Yeah, 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 yeah. Atari carts, um, that was fine. Kind of a I wouldn't say good. Mario Kart clone, kind of. Not Nowhere near as nice looking as Mario as, Karts. It was fine. I'd give it a It was fine. Mid. Uh, if you gave that to a kid back in the day. It'd have fun. No, they would be so disappointed that it was Mario oh, Kart. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it if was they just knew about it was Mario just Kart. an inferior Mar Mario Kart, but it played just fine. The game was just fine. Fever Pitch Soccer, I think it was. I thought it was fine. Good, decent. I'd say it's, yeah, it's fine. It was decent. It played well. Uh, a lot of these games. I War. What was that again? They all have the same names. I, I can't remember. I can't either. I we won't give that a rating. <laughs> uh, Super Cross 3D, absolutely atrocious. <laughs> Terrible frame rate. Oh, it was. It looked really bad. It, it was really, so really bad. did. It really did. Attack of the Mutant Penguins. We didn't know what we we're doing, but it looked. Good. It looked really good. It was crazy. It, it was, was a. It colorful. seemed pretty fun. I just needed to figure out what the point of it was, yeah. but yeah. Zoop, awesome. That that was a fun uh, the shooting puzzle. One? Yep. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh. We... I still feel simpler is better. Did I miss one? No, Fight for Life. Was that a fighting game? Is that the... That's mm, not the that fighting. was the open um, 3D fighting. <laughs> that was... Mm, mm. It was bad. Mm. Uh, hard to control. Very slow. Virtual Fighter. Yes. Thank yeah. you, Captain Classic. Yeah, bad yeah. in terms of fighting games of this genre, of this era. Bad. Way too slow. Yep. Way too slow. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Yeah. It was fine. It was playable. It was pretty good. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Brain Dead 13. That was the 
shooting through mazes and opening up things and going through teleporters and you're it was uh, that it was, was brain dead oh that brain dead was like the um the the other um dragon slayer the dragon slayer like oh one. yeah i mean it was better than it worked it, better than dragon slayer and space but it was Ace. still it still had its its issues like obviously there were no triggers there but yeah. um it didn't tell you when to do things I, I, those games are really cool but yeah. it yeah there's something about playing it yeah that wasn't quite working breakout 2000 vastly inferior to any breakout i've ever played <laughs> it was so it was like it pick was like, a ball pa- uh, break, breakouts you're just it was like smack f- yeah first person perspective well it's third but it was like such an angle you could barely see and anything. And the whole upper part of it wasn't even in use, as as, as I think Captain like, Classic pointed it out. It was like a strip of playability of that. Yeah. Compared to a screen like that, it, was quite it funny. didn't make any no. sense. No good use of the three D. Yeah, yeah. Um, Towers Two: Plight of the Stargazer. It looked like a decent RPG. You just game. needed to figure out how to steal the mop. Hey away. Thomas. Hey Thrust. So between the last the show this morning. Yeah. And now Thomas was asleep and now he's woken up. Again. Oh, <laughs> that's so funny. There you go. Hope you had a good night. <laughs> yeah. Um, world tour racing. Mm. Uh, um, that was the one that didn't load. Oh, that's why we didn't load. play it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, air cars. That mm. was the hover. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, that one was the one in the maze. And yeah, that was another maze one. Uh, it was, mid yeah yeah uh they're all blending all the yeah, 3d they world are. games zero five that was hard to control it looked really oh, good yeah but it was like a 3d demo yeah and uh, so looked awesome played terrible controls were terrible the the camera was terrible everything yeah. was very hard to control. Iron Soldier Two, I would give that a thumbs up. I don't, re- yeah. I didn't really know how to play it, but everything worked really it was well. Like a mech it, game, that's yeah, pretty cool. It looked good. I liked the original game too that we played on the Jaguar. Yeah, Worms, awesome, super well, awesome. Who's, who's gonna say anything bad about Worms? Yeah, super yeah. great. That's a lot of games. We played a lot of games today. Yeah. Um, some people went to bed and some people <laughs> woke, woke up. back up. So there you go. So overall, because I played all three days, you yeah. played two, two out of, of them. the three. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's probably pretty evenly split between good games, mid games, and bad games. Um, there was a number of good games. Yeah. A, a ton of bad games. Yeah. And a bunch of games that were like, in the middle. Uh, was f- fine, I guess. Yeah. I am not a big fan of the 3D games of this era. No, I'm not. And either. they all feel very samey and <laughs> and I think I said very I, slow, very flat shading. I feel like it was the era of developers finding their niche and 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 f- figuring out how those worked, you know, cuz yeah. they obviously vastly improved in the in the following years. But Fart but they're so polygons. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything is just it's, circles mm, and triangles everywhere. And it's like a flat field with some triangles that pop up all over the place. <laughs> in, um, oh, it's slow a, motion. a tree? Oh, that's... It's that two that, triangles of that green. That cube is our goal, is it? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just something about them that, yeah, they're just kind of meh. But, I, th- uh, I think you're right on there, Captain Classic. Mm. About 20 would be like, yeah, this this is playable. You could go Good back games. to it. Yeah. You could enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Probably a less success rate than the 2600 library. Oh, yeah. 2600 had a surprising amount of good games. I was surprised, actually, in how big that library was, how many of those games were good. And even the ones that were bad... We're like, this is fine. uh, You know, you're like, it's bad, but it's still playable, you know? Yeah. Think of it more like 33%. It was a lot better percentage than Shovelware Wii. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's hundreds and hundreds if, if not thousands of yeah, games Wii? on the Wii that are just shovelware had such a long life it did have a long life yeah and there's tons of just garbage games yeah, put yeah, out yeah only five are good uh Tempest 2000 is great Aliens vs Predator uh it was fine um a lot of people love Aliens vs Predator yeah um I I'm just not a big fan of this era of 3D yeah 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 <laughs> um I think this could have been put to better use as a really, really, really good 2D 
yeah. system. Yeah. But that's not what they were going for. No, in this year. people They're were like, trying to stretch, push it, right? They were trying to push the boundaries. Yeah. And, yeah. This is like, oh, we got to do all 3D, but they yeah. didn't do all 3D. And there were some no. 2D games. And there. some of the 2D, well, the 2D games are great, you yeah. know? Yeah. Because they're on, a, a, you know, an improved system from what what came before. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would say Homebrew is doing much better than the original games on this system. Oh, yeah. 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 Like Cyrano is oh yeah doing great work yeah like way better than gravitic minds is oh, mind blowing you yeah. you play gravitic minds against these Any games of these, almost it's like yeah amazing and it's jumping amazing. at shadows as well yeah yeah just that would have been mind blowing back then they're not yeah. 3d no they're, they're not really 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 good 2d, 2D games. games yeah exactly exactly yes. Yeah. Oh, Cyrano. <laughs> well, you deserve it. You're, you're using us the way it should be used. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Rather than, oh, we have to make 3D games and shoehorn it in yeah. to a system just because that's the era that we're supposed to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. The same hardware uh, that Cyrano is working on is the Jaguar. And mm. Yeah. Sega CD was starting to sell the FMV games. Yeah. 32X and Jaguar are trying to get to the forefront of the of 3D, 3D games, and they couldn't do it. No. Yeah, just not quite just there. Qu not quite enough power. It's, it's like I think, a step to do before the 3D. where it needs to be, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, but some of the 3D games that were simplified, like if that, um, what was it? F something five? If it wasn't. Zero five? No. Yeah. Zero five, the, the space one. Yeah. It looked awesome. I didn't think it was terrible. It's just so hard to control. It was almost like Galaga in 3D. Yeah. Where things were coming at you in a pattern, but the controls were atrocious. Yeah. but it, I, it And that's why I say it felt... There. It was yeah, neat, but I felt like someone was trying to test <laughs> my spatial awareness, like yes. my ability like, to turn in three dimensions. And when the ship... Was and it gets backwards. frustrated. Everything was upside down and backwards. And backwards. And you're like, what am I going left or right? Like, what is happening? So it did if, feel a little bit like a If test. Zero Five was a first person perspective game, that probably would have solved a lot of problems. Because then left was always left. Right is always right. Or you just, you could only go up and down and all yeah. the way left and right. But you couldn't flip around, right around. You know, yeah. like that would have been a better approach. But yeah. but it was neat. Like I actually thought it was well done. Yeah. And, and it looked good. So it wasn't like a fail. It was just very hard to control. Thankfully to control. we didn't have to slog through a ton of FMV games. Because... We wouldn't have been able to get anywhere in them. Yeah. You'd be like, oh, a bunch of movie, and then yeah. a choice, and then a bunch of movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Luckily, no, that's that not sense. what we had to do. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was, it, it's always a nice adventure to go, go through, through the a library. Whole, the whole library, yeah. yeah. And next year, we're going to be doing 7,800. Well, how? Because that was not the... It was the delayed launch was uh 1986 mm -hmm. but some systems came out in 84. gotcha um so we're gonna do it in 2024 okay. 40 year anniversary from of 84 se 7800 nice and that i believe it has 79 games more than jaguar Yes, a slight bit more than Jaguar. So Captain Classic says 7,800 will be nice and short. It will actually be longer than Jag Jaguar. Uh, yeah, a little bit longer. If mm, I'm not but still fairly short. Let me just um, Sweeties. check that out. This cat is hungry. To confirm that. Well, yeah, it's his it's feeding past. time. Uh, Wiki, 7,800 games. If I'm not mistaken, it's 79? 59. Oh, you're way... Okay, oh, that's way not bad. It was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And a lot of them I actually like. So I think, I mean, we're not going to get very far in summer games or anything. No. <laughs> um, but we could probably go back up to 10 minutes per game mm -hmm. for this because they're, yeah. Hey, Kev. Yeah, it is a late one. We're uh, just... I was trying to squeeze in the Jaguar games. We would just finished playing every single Jaguar game ever made for yes. the uh, original lineup. You must play Ninja Gold for 120 <laughs> minutes. That would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I mean, there's Ball Blazer, which is fun. Mm. Um, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, Donkey mm. Kong Jr. A lot of arcade ports, which are going to be a lot of fun. Mm. Um, Food Fight is great. Galaga is not as good as the 2600 yeah. homebrew, but it's fine. 
Oh, impossible mission. Oh, yeah. It is is impossible. Yeah, I've heard that. But we're not going to play to the end, so no. we don't need to play the Just hacked play a little version. Bit. I, I know how to play it on the C64. I'm assuming the controls are a little different anyway, so I won't get very far. <laughs> yeah. So they were released from... Let's see if we can sort it by year. Um, I mean, it says 86, but they were actually available in 84. Uh, so 86 to 91. Mm. And there are some PAL, which we won't necessarily be able to play. No, those look like they're... Oh, we did NA. try Sentinel. We did play Sentinel. We, we it did. Was, it was a light gun game. I don't know if oh, it... When we did, did our work? light gun... Um, it worked a bit, I think. <laughs> I think it worked a bit. Mm. Yeah. Oh, just home from work. Oh my God, 11.30. Late shift. <laughs> so you do, do you go to sleep now, Kev? Or do you stay up and then you yeah. probably go to sleep? So yeah. I would. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, 7800 is next time. Nice. Uh, I don't have the date for it. I do have the, have the date somewhere. See, it says release date May 1986. I'll have to do some more research. Either we push it off two years, which is possible, to 2026. Or I find out where the early releases were. There we go. Atari was first announced May twenty first, eighty four. But general, genera so there were early releases. People actually had a seven eight hundred in their hand, oh. bought from stores in eighty four. But it was oh. a very small release. It says and was shelved until May nineteen eighty six due to the sale of the company. Yeah, it was oh, like in flux. Oh, right? I see. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so that's it for us for tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be back on Tuesday uh, with... Um, so what are we doing on Tuesday? Oh, yeah. it's a John Champeau interview. Oh, nice. Unboxing his two new All games, right. Elevator right. Action. Excellent. And uh, let's see, what is it? Elevator, <laughs> Elevator Action. Turbo Elev Arcade. Sorry, Elevator Agent. Agent and Turbo and Arcade. And Turbo Arcade. Yep. And we'll have uh, John Champo live on the show to talk about those games, and we'll be playing those games. I'm That'll excited. Be a lot of fun. Very Tanya will fun. be there. Yes. Be an evening show. Yes, I will. If the, if the games make it on time, we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully. Hey, cats. Popcorn cats. Yes, they are hungry. It is um, dinner time for them. They need their dinner. And then on the Friday, we're going to be playing two uh, Jaguar mm -hmm. games from uh, Cyrano J. Nice. Jumping at Shadows and Raiding Rivers. Exclusive world premiere of Raiding Rivers. Nice. And an exclusive Jumping at Shadows second demo that was shown at PRGE, which we didn't get a chance to play. We are very busy, as usual. Yeah, that's true. I was true. very disappointed that I didn't get to play the second demo because I really loved the first demo yeah the cats are 32 minutes past their dinner time yeah so they're pretty hungry um and then on the 17th atari age day 2023 where we play 23 games i think it's 23 games 2023 wow, wow. that lines up i didn't even that uh, lines up perfectly yep uh we unbox them all we're pl talking to all the devs we'll be talking to ali russo at the top of it uh it's on a sunday tanya will be here it's an eight hour long show <laughs> you don't want to miss it uh, 24, one of mine has two. Oh, yes. there you go. So I'm counting games, not Individual, devs. individual box individual. games. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, and then we do the Atari Homebrew uh, Holiday Homebrew Special Yay. with an exclusive world premiere of Muddy Vision's new game. Oh, nice. Yes. Right before Christmas. That's awesome. And also uh, Last Stand Halloween. Yay. And maybe one one more game, because I know I'm going to play, we're going to play a lot of Muddy Vision's game. Yeah. And um, that one is, uh, you can play it for a while. Secret game. It is. Secret new game. Yes, Meow. You're very excited, aren't you, about uh, Muddy Vision's game? <laughs> oh, oh, no, he's like, food. No, he Give doesn't me do the that. food. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Captain Classic, Cyrano J, Prow7, Thomas, Gamma Dev, Kev. Um, I'm going to grab you. I'm gonna oh, grab you got him. Oh. oh, he keeps running away. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Uh, who else was in the chat today? Lydia Loud. Hi. Hello, new person. Oh, oh, he really wants his food. <laughs> I got him. Yeah, you got him. There Hi. Go. Hi. Hi. Oh. 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 oh no. No. I just. I just. Oh. oh, oh, oh <laughs> I just so want squirmy. to say hi. Oh, kitty. Uh, Pseudo graphics. The Toco. <laughs> 
Uh, Cuba Nisbo. Yay, Cuba Nisbo. Upset guy, he's hungry. Yeah. Uh, I missed the majority. Well, you can always that's watch okay. it back and skip through all the games. Yep. Um, so that's it for tonight. Have a great weekend, yes. everyone. Yeah. We'll be back on Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in late, 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 late Friday or Very early late. Saturday. Yes. Feed me now. Feed me, Seymour. Yep. Feed me. Okay. Uh, we'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everyone. Yeah. Bye-bye.